These are the best moments where entitled Karens got owned for their selfish behavior. Let's take a look. This Karen confronted this family, demanding proof that they had the right to be here, which this family wasn't going to show this random lady. This sent this Karen into a total meltdown when she got very confrontational over it and started screaming at this family. When you were when you should get out of your prison. I do. I don't have to show you yes, that. You do if I ask you. No, I don't. You don't. Karen's getting mad. Me to see mine, I will show it to you. Do I have to show that to her? I no, you don't. No, you don't have to show no, her I nothing. Have to show this gentleman, the security, the guy that no. works the no. place. No, the guy you don't. Any that member in good standing. Stand. You that's don't know the rules. Any member in good standing that pays dues here can ask you to see your wristband. And the security does it when I come in. Well, he's no, not he doing didn't. his job. He is doing his job. I don't hear that. He I'm not doing my job. Every time a car comes Where's in. Where's your wristband? Where, where's your sticker on your car? You want to walk to my car? Come on, honey. Yes. Come on. Oh. Can you videotape yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I got no problem throwing, showing any of this. You can send the vi video to Oh, I don't care. Monday. I don't care. I don't care what you, you have to say. No, 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 don't care. Don't care. We're Monday. just going to go check seat. We're going to go look at her sticker. You can Are you just saying names at this point? You can send it to every board member, okay? I don't care. I have the right to ask. Uh-huh. So why are you harassing the people about it? I not have a guest pass. It has one now. No problem. Did you so, have a wristband to reiterate, do you have your sticker? You, I'm not talking to him. Lady harassing people, other, other people. Harassing. Okay, so this Karen actually crashed into this gentleman's car and she stated that it wasn't a big deal and for this reason refused to hand over any insurance information. This went on for quite a while as the gentleman really wanted her to pay for the damage when this Karen stated that if he was so worried about the damage that he should pull it out with a plunger. Let's have a look. You, you hit my truck. I can't. Look at this big tent right there. Too bad. No, not too what bad. What the? 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 It's not nothing. Yes, it is nothing. You could pull it out with a plunger. You couldn't have backed up without hitting me and hitting my car? Of course I could have. I didn't know I hit your car. Maybe uh, I didn't. How do you know? Just a little bit of paint on it. That's yeah, all right. And you... you did. You These disgusting teenagers were actually going through a supermarket and opening up the drinks only to spit inside of the drinks and reseal them for other customers to purchase. This customer actually saw what was going on and confronted them for this, leaving them humiliated when they realized they couldn't run away from him and would have to pay for all of the items to be binned and reshelved. Let's have a look. Okay, so these little girls here yeah, have decided to drink this drink from there, put their mouth to it and stick that back on the shelf. And they think it's okay to do that without paying for it, yeah? You think it's okay to do that? Oh, no, you think it's okay to do that? No, no, I'm asking you. You think it's okay to you drink? Want you want it to go viral. No, 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 no. Uh, listen, it won't go viral. You, you think it's okay? You think it's okay to drink that and just put it there? Yes. Like normal? My, so, someone like my daughter is going to drink that. I'm going to take that, I'm going to buy that, take it home. And no, no, I'm going to take that home and someone like yourself who's been drinking that, I'll put your mouth to it. Okay, so that's... Okay, so this employee had handed this lady her drive through order, but she wasn't happy with the attitude on this lady and decided to give her a bad customer service experience. This lady decided to start recording the employee when this employee flipped her off and slammed the window in her face. This employee obviously didn't care about this lady's order or her customer service experience as she decided to come back filming her as well and got into this argument between her. Let's have a look. You all out of yep. today. Thank you. Yep. Good. Good. Oh. Oh. Now get the f out of my drive through. Wow. Yeah, record that. Record that. I am. Okay. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can record me. You just curse me out up and down. You're recording me, Tyler. Now what? 
Heard a case of this kid had been caught stealing and was in for a big reality check when his father had put him in his place. He humiliated this kid and made the kid apologize to literally everybody after a very lengthy tough guy act from this kid. He had to swallow his pride and literally apologize for his actions. Let's have a look. Naming shame on gospel aware. This is the boy that's so disgusting that everyone's put on Asda's. Here he is today, and this is what's going to happen. And what else, Charlie? Let's not say that, Charlie. But but you're sorry to who, Charlie? Yeah. And and all the members of staff at Asda, embarrassing people, yeah? Because you're a vile, mouth little, did not you? Not being rude, I'm your dad, and I've had to bring you down here because you disrespect everyone. And now you've plastered all over Facebook. It's disgusting, Charlie. We don't bring you up like this. Do we, Charlie? There you go. And apologise to the gentleman. And he will never... I promise you now, mate, he will never come round... Okay, so this kid was outside of this grocery store and he was giving the employees hell by just raising his voice and being argumentative with them. He was asked to leave, but instead he stayed and abused them. And somebody recorded this and posted it online and his dad saw it. That's when his dad made a fool of his son and brought him back to apologize, humiliating him in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Oh, come back here. Stop, stop, Name and shame on gospel aware. This is the boy that's so disgusting that everyone's put on Asda's. Here he is today, and this is what's going to happen. And what else, Charlie? But but you're sorry to who, Charlie? Yeah. And and all the members of staff at Asda, embarrassing people, yeah? Because you're a vile mouth little, did not you? Not being rude, I'm your dad, and I've had to bring you down here because you disrespect everyone. And now you've plastered all over Facebook. It's disgusting, Charlie. We don't bring you up like this. Do we, Charlie? There you go. And apologise to the gentleman. And he will never... I promise you now, mate, he will never come round... Okay, so this male Karen was getting his car towed and he refused to pay the fee or get out of his vehicle. This led to an altercation between the tow truck driver and himself and this Karen was anything but polite about the situation. After arguing back and forth with the tow truck driver for quite some time and realizing his vehicle wasn't going to be dropped, he tried to abuse his way out of it instead. Let's have a look. I don't even know who the f you are! I don't, don't even know who the f you are! And you want me to pay you? I'm you the tow man! Well, I don't know you. Why would I want to pay you? Because I got your car on my truck. Okay, well, good for you. Now you could, could, could go ahead. Go ahead, take me home with it. I don't go need ahead, to take, take you away with it. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't go need ahead. to. Pay for the damages, dude. I You're know. making me laugh, dude. Really. Oh, You're making a fool you. out of yourself. It's very simple, man. Give me 50 bucks. I drop the car. You're on your way. Why would you like to give me 50 bucks? To drop your car. Why? Yeah, you do it for free. Regardless. I do it for free? Go ahead. Give me your ride for me. Okay. Get ready. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so this garbage man is very disrespectful and he doesn't gently put the bins back down but instead tosses them across the ground and the lawn. Now this lady had had to replace her bins multiple times because of this gentleman who refuses to gently place the bins back on the ground only for this lady to record him literally breaking her bin again. Let's have a look. Don't come on my property. Okay, so this lady found herself in an argument with a couple of people in a car in this parking lot. This parking lot disagreement went 0 to 100 real quick when this gentleman actually pulled out a weapon in an attempt to intimidate this lady. Little did he know though this lady was not going to be intimidated and that only made her even angrier when she got in his face and confronted him even with a weapon. Let's have a look. Be so funny for my Snapchat. No, you want to hear it. Talk. You sat here and like you want to be all big and bad, right? Ah! Uh, 
Bye. Have a great Sunday, dude. It's up my. You want to back up? Oh, you think I don't want to die? Shoot me. Shoot me. You're talking to the wrong one. Put a bullet in between my eyes right here. Guess no, what? I want you to be afraid of death. I want you to chill the out. Then don't yell in a drive through this neighborly dispute begun when the gentleman told the other neighbor to move his property off his, which sent him into a total meltdown. He then became very enraged and tried to get confrontational with the gentleman recording before his family members had to hold him back. It wasn't long before he broke free and got confrontational and things escalated quickly between his neighbor who only wanted him to take his property off of his. Let's have a look. Hey Bobby, you're double parked right now. You're breaking... Oh no, it pa hey Bobby, it passed, but Bobby... Look Take your shells off my property. You see your shells? You have one. You have one hour to take your shells and plants off my property. You're ugly, but you have one hour to take your shells and plants off my property. You want your property? See your shells? See your shells? You'll be moving your shell, Bobby. You look upset. Hi. Those shells. One hour. Hey, Bob. You're double parked. But you're double parked. Oh, you're double parked, Bob. Hey, Bob. You're double Bob, parked right now, Bob. You know what? You know what? Bob, you're double parked. No, oh, you're not the double. You're breaking the rules. You better quit talking to you. talk to you're my wife like that again. I'm going to beat Okay, so this gentleman was recording this random person and he didn't appreciate being recorded So there was some instant regret involved when he realized that he was going to be confronted for it And the person being recorded didn't take too kindly to it That's when this person being recorded came up and confronted him threatened him and started yelling for help Putting the recording in his place and escalating the situation incredibly fast. Let's have a look Hey, stop recording. I'm being That's threatened illegal. by this person right now. No, you're not everybody. He's illegally taking pictures of me. What are you doing, man? You want to dial something? Hey, Dude, get your please camera away do from not me. I'm not touch touching me. Your camera. I'm saying, get, I'm not touching you. Me. Don't punch talk. me first. Don't touch me, sir. Why are you please do not to touch, touch me. Everybody trying to grab my Dude, are you good? You want to get punched in the face? Please don't touch me, sir. Dude, stop recording me. Stop trying to touch please you. Don't touch me, sir. Touch me first. I dare you. Please. I want self-defense. Touch me. Hit, tell him to hit me. Please don't touch hit me, me, sir. Dude, this dude keeps trying to stop recording me. That's illegal. No, I'm telling you, it's illegal. Sir, Drop that phone right now. Do you want to? Do, what are you doing right now? Please don't touch me, sir. I'm not touching you. Hey, why are you touch touching you. me? Ah, oh. dude, why is he recording me? Yo, hey, you want to tell me something? Okay, I'm calling. Okay, so on July 4th, there was quite a lot of fireworks going off in this neighborhood, and that was enough to set this Karen off. This Karen came out in her pajamas, screaming and yelling at everybody, demanding that everybody stops and goes home immediately. They obviously weren't going to listen to this Karen and waste their fireworks of the purchase, which left this Karen in a total meltdown as she screamed and pleaded with everybody, but wasn't going to get her away. Let's have a look. Okay, so this father noticed that somebody in the distance was actually taking photos of his two-year-old daughter. Now, when he came over to the man to confront him for what he was doing, he admitted that he was taking pictures of his daughter, but stated that there was no wrongdoing and it wasn't illegal. The father was obviously upset by this response, and that made the photographer run away into a security guard, who then made him delete the photos. Let's have a look. Why do you want the picture of my two-year-old kid? Why don't you stay away from me? That doesn't answer my question. Why don't you stay away? Why don't you? Why do you hey, want a picture of my? Everything okay? So he, he's this guy's assault. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Face, face out, face out. Yeah, What's going on? So he took a picture of my two-year-old daughter and took several pictures and then okay. stood over here scrolling. And I wanted to know why he took pictures of my two-year-old daughter. Okay. Any reason for that, sir? Just she's a cute kid. 
Okay, well, you understand. Like that. Okay, for, so you understand what his concern was, right, correct? Actually, I don't. Okay, okay. hey, uh, just so it's clear, for, for my now, concern is here. that I would do the exact same thing that you did. You understand? Okay. Yeah, okay. you're in the same camp as a. Well, appreciate you deleting it. Okay, so this Karen was doing neighborhood drive-bys in the sense that she was going to neighborhoods that had political signs in their front yard and literally ripping all of the signs out with political disagreements that she had with them. This lady believed that she was on the correct political sides and helped herself to any political signs which didn't side with her views. Let's have a look. You come in our neighborhood pulling our signs. You come in our neighborhood pulling off our signs. Please don't, please don't touch my and car. then she have. Do not touch my car. And then she have her tag. Then she have her tag please covered don't up. Touch my car. Then she have her tag Sir, covered I'm up. I'm asking you to please let me go. Please let me go. I need some help. Sir, I'm really sorry. You're sorry for what? I did leave the I did leave the tag. I did leave it. Can you go put it back? Yes, I will. Can you go put it back? I promise I will. Because I'm getting ready to call the police. I'll go put it back. You're from Hillsborough County yes. and you're coming in here destroying the neighborhood I that I grew up it. in. You're coming in here and you're destructing the neighborhood that I grew up it said, in. It said flush Trump. That's freedom of it's, street. It, it said flush the turd. That's freedom it, of speech. It's disrespecting the current president, That's sir. freedom of speech. This Domino's employee denied these customers from entering his store as they were quite aggressive and abusive towards him. These customers refused to leave though as they demanded a refund and also to use the restrooms, which the manager wasn't going to let happen. The customers then had a total meltdown at him and continued harassing him before the employee threatened to sue them for recording him. Let's have a look. Get out of my store. But I want to use the washroom. No, you're not welcome we in my store. We just wanted a chili flex and you're not giving us a chili flex. That's Wait, a video. And I never said that I wasn't giving you guys chili. Oh, you told me. I'm not going to yeah, then please. Please give us I the chili flakes. for more chili flakes. Okay. Please get out of give my us store. the chili flakes and there's get a video and that is going to Can get I... on the Twitter you tomorrow. Want... Okay, guys. You want to check right? the chili flakes? Get out of my store. You want to check chili flakes? Are you giving us the chili flakes? For you. Okay. Are you, are you giving us the chili flakes, flakes or not? We are just asking for the chili flakes and like you cannot give us the chili flakes? Like that's so stupid, man. No, you guys are hostile for no reason. I was going to check in the back and that's what I said to you and then you started yelling in my face. I never said no to chili flakes at all. Man. Yeah, then please give us now. start yelling at you, man. To delete the video or I'm charging you for harassment. Please give well, us uh, now that. Nobody here. like we can same charge here. you for the harassment. I'm and not harassing and like, this is the you're proof of the video. This, and you're this is the me. proof and this is going to the Twitter guys. tomorrow, man. Let's go, guys. Let's go. No. This Karen had a delivery and she flat out refused to sign for it. For this reason, the delivery driver obviously couldn't give her the item and the Karen couldn't believe that she couldn't receive her items that she wasn't willing to sign for. Obviously, you'd have to sign for the item so they know it was delivered safely and to the right person, which this Karen refused to do and couldn't comprehend why she couldn't have it. Let's have a look. Hey, hey, so don't touch my car. I'm it's, not touching your truck. It's my truck. Okay, uh, then I won't touch your truck. Hey, don't touch I won't your touch your truck. I'm not touching your truck. Hey, I'm not touching your truck. I'm touching what I bought. Hey, this is not your truck. This is not your truck. It's water that I paid for. No, no, it's in my truck. No, it's right not now, in it's your. In truck. Please move, move. You know your. Yes. I wish you nothing but harm. Mm -hmm. I put it back. No, you get out of my garage. This is my garage. This is my garage. That's your truck. This is my garage. Under duress, you have forced me to sign this. And you have caused me emotional and mental damage. I this Karen had an appointment with the dentist, except she wouldn't let them take her temperature, and for this reason they had to deny her service and ask her to leave the dentistry. This Karen went into a total meltdown stating that it was illegal for them to deny her service, demanding to speak to the manager and claiming that she was going to take them to court. Let's have a look. You're going to work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting my teeth cleaned. But it's about the safety of, our, of all of our... Fine, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not, you're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our... You staff. can't take my temperature. Everybody. That's against the law. All right, well, I can't... You're not, not an to, MD. We're not okay. allowed to... We can't no. see you. That's I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. Okay. So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? Let's get this done, okay? I, I, 
can't, they're telling me I can't see you. Who's there? The owner of the practice. I want to hear him. Get him on the phone. He has to send me in written writing, so I want to see your You shouldn't be in the building without a mask either. I can do what I want. No, I'm you free. Can't. It's this not a, a law. Office. It's not a law. This is a medical law. No. It's a devil. Okay, so this lady is actually an Olympic athlete and she was recording herself work out. She could have been recording herself just to see how her form was and what she could improve on, but for some reason another person at this park assumed she was recording him and he went mental at her. This male Karen got in her face and tried to intimidate her into deleting the footage, demanding that she stopped recording him immediately, which she obviously wasn't doing. Let's have a look away from me what happened all right done? don't be looking at me behind my back okay you stay away from me. yes <laughs> uh i'm six feet away huh <laughs> dude just go back dude, stay away from me i haven't or done do anything something. what did i, I do you, to whoever that is to... you're scared do I'm something scared. i'm not scared of i haven't done anything i'm not Scared of you? You're you're crazy. Yeah, you're a loser. Go home. Loser, go home. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you're little. I'm little. Leave me alone. You're lame. I'll f you up. I'll f your husband up or your boyfriend or whoever the f you're talking to on the phone. You're scared. Dude. This Karen was caught and exposed in front of everybody for trying to dine and dash, which didn't work out very well for her. That's when she noticed that on top of being caught doing this, she was actually being recorded the entire time and had a total meltdown at the recordee as if they were the ones in the wrong. They caught out this Karen for her behavior. Let's have a look. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Because why do we have to even deal with this Look how much food you guys got. ordered so much and you're gonna leave without paying? Without paying, you still ordered it. They still cooked your food. You still left without paying. You still left without paying. You came up to us. Because you're video recording. For them, for their protection. Go, pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. That really makes sense why you guys look like that. Like that's very rude. Okay, pay them and leave. Okay. Trash. More trash. Pay them and leave. Just go and buy. Go and pay. You're still talking. Pay them and leave. What we're doing doesn't concern you. Go pay. It does because I'm on video. Go pay. And what? Okay, so this gentleman noticed that this elderly man behind him had some serious road rage. It wasn't long until he flagged the younger driver down so that he could abuse him and to yell some of the most offensive remarks that I've ever heard. This angry grandpa couldn't just put it behind him and drive on. He had to get the last word in and make it very clear what he thought about this other driver. Let's have a look. Look at him. Just what does he come pull behind my car for? He was just right here, but now he pulled behind my car. But now he want to pull off. Don't pull off. Don't pull you off. got a problem? I'm talking to you. Man, take your old on some You. Way. You. Die some in the web. You. Go on some where you old ignorant. You. Take your on some I'm recording this. You, you think bother I me. Care? You what is you, you bother me? You think I care? What is your problem? What is your What's problem? What's your problem? You pulling up on me? Oh mother. Now take your old. You off. mother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead and enjoy your day while you got the rest of your day. Instead of being so evil. Look at you. You despicable. You call yourself a f***ing human? You call yourself a f***ing human? Why don't you kiss my f***? Get the f*** out of here. This gentleman was at the beach with his family when he returned to his canopy to find that people were taking it down. He confronted the people who were taking his canopy down, who then claimed that it was their canopy and caught them in the act trying to steal it. Even though they were caught stealing, these thieves refused to admit that they were doing anything wrong and doubled down stating that it was their property and that the man had no right touching it. So let's have a look. Is that yours? Oh, you need some help? Do you know how to do it? Yeah. yeah, this is our stuff. This is yours? Yes. Wait a minute. Well, this is ours. No, it is. This is all ours. Uh, all of it. The chairs, the bag, this is all our stuff. My kids, yep, that's my kids. I'm sorry. Yeah. Linda, we didn't bring 
It's okay. We'll let it slide, but I'm glad I, I made it in no, time. I'm not making it slide. I'm oh. telling you. No, you, you, there's no, you, no, step away from my. How about that? You know what? I will, and then I'm going to take that camera and put it in the ground like that. Step back. Okay, so this delivery person was going up the elevator to deliver a parcel. This delivery person had to get into the elevator with another person who ended up being a very big Karen. This Karen argued that there was not enough space for two people in this elevator and demanded that this delivery person get off immediately. Let's have a look. My girl here wants me to come out of the elevator so she can come out of the elevator. Because it's a small space we're supposed to maintain social distancing. I don't understand why you can't just politely step but out to both, allow me out of the elevator. When I asked you nicely, while you have been wearing your mask, you didn't ask me nicely. You said ride. get the f out the elevator. I said that after you refused no, 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 to get no, no. out. You have a giant but, you, but my girl, hold on, hold on, hold on, my girl. You wanna Please stand in the no. elevator with me? And catch it, like, you're not making sense, honey. You might as well get off at your floor. I'm trying to you're get off at my floor. I can't come close to you. Do you not understand that I have an extremely compromised immune system? You are a delivery person. Here, let me get you off the floor. You are a delivery person. Incorrectly wearing the mask inside is of this, the big building. What do you expect worn, to do except ask is me Is this slightly. incorrectly worn? It wasn't like that the whole time. Oh, you don't do that. This lady was very angry this entitled Karen was trying to order some bagels although she wasn't following the social distancing rules in place. For this reason her order was denied and she was asked to leave the premise which she refused to do and actually found it offensive that they would ask her to leave even though she wasn't following the rules. It wasn't long until this Karen had a total meltdown and the authorities had to be called on her. Let's have a look. I can't wear a mask, sir. Why can't you wear a mask? She said she got medical problem. You don't have to serve her if you don't want to. Why is it? It's a regular yeah. She just got to tell me why. You can't even see how I'm looking at you, sir. I have sunglasses. You can't even see how I'm looking at you. I have sunglasses. Gather that, I guess. You just said, I don't look at you like that. How do you see how I'm looking at you? Uh, uh, excuse me, get it back to the server. If you don't want to serve her, let you go. If you want to serve her, serve her. If not, let you go. Take her out. Ma'am, ma ma hello, ma'am. He's not going to serve her, so please leave. Why? Let me call a cop because this may have been very disruptive. It doesn't affect, it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect no, you. No, you're not going to serve me because you're a Just call him a name. That's what you just said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this Amazon delivery driver was driving on the road when he was flagged down by another person. This other person had some serious road rage and didn't like the way that the Amazon delivery driver was driving the truck because he actually took out a weapon and confronted him. Things had escalated quickly and the gentleman who was driving the Amazon truck had to de-escalate it. Let's have a look. My Amazon job. No, 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 no. Why are you getting back in there? You pulled your gun on me. No, I'm doing my job. You no, pulled your gun on me. No. Nah, truck no. got mother. You think I no I, You pulled your gun out in front of me. Intimidated. No, you're intimidated by what? A big but, Amazon truck? No, a big Amazon truck? I literally waved to your yeah, work because you dropped this package off. Nah, that, bro. I'm doing my job, bro. I don't want to be I'm over doing here. My job, bro. Your job, job pulling a pistol out in front of a 22 no, year old? You. Where's your pistol? Go ahead and show it now. No. Yeah, you don't want to now. No way. No. You. No. No, I'm turning back your package. Yeah, let's you, no, you're here from Amazon. You. No, 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 no that. I no. should have called the cops or you would have called on my hey, you. Get away from the van. You want to be Get safe? away from the van. All right. Get away from the van. I want to be cool. Do you I don't want to be cool, cool with you. I'm it's my like you I wish wasn't here. The road up there. No, bro. I'm trying to tell you, if I could have got on that road, I wouldn't have taken this. Okay, so this Karen was playing tennis and she was next to some kids who were playing. Now the kids were playing and mucking about and making some noise and I guess they were disturbing this Karen in this public environment because this Karen quits mid-tennis match to confront the kids and start yelling at them. This Karen gets in their faces and demands an apology from the kids. Let's have a look. Do you live here? I'm asking you a question. Do you live here? Do you? You live here? And you think your mother would appreciate you doing that to no, other residents? Bitch. She didn't do anything. It was her. So now do you live here? Because you're the one who's screaming like a little baby. Sorry. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you come up here, you want to have fun. We want to do our practices. So you don't think we should respect each other? 
But then you say I'm not nice? But that you're the one who started. That was me. That was me. That, that, that was you? Yeah. So you should say you're sorry because you don't treat adults like that. Yeah, I didn't do anything to you. You did it to us. We were just having fun. So are we. So are we. But we can't have our fun because you're screaming and we can't concentrate. This male Karen is inside of a smoothie store and apparently they messed up an order and put peanuts in the smoothie, which his child was allergic to. This male Karen stampeded into the store, abusing just about everybody, demanding to speak to the person who made the smoothie so that he could abuse them. When he couldn't find out who made the smoothie, he started abusing everybody and getting in their faces. Let's have a look. Please don't yell at us. Yeah. Don't see your TV. You have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't We don't know me. who made it, so... You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we obviously don't know. Stupid ignorant high school kid. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the... Bye. Kid. Okay, you can Gianna call Gianna corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Gianna, stop. Gianna, stop. Gianna, stop. No, I don't care. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, you're I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Okay, so this Karen is upset that somebody has parked their car on the street and for this reason decides to park her car in this gentleman's driveway. This is actually illegal and the gentleman can get her car towed as it's on his property and his car wasn't on hers. This Karen couldn't comprehend that though and even suggested that he should call the police or a tow truck. Let's have a look. Is there a problem? Is there a problem? Yeah, move your car out of the way. If you can record me all you yeah. want, I don't give a Cool. Record me. Go for it. So what is what is the issue? Okay, shut What's up. the issue? Shut up. What's the issue? Shut up. She's upset. Move the car. She's out of the upset way. because there's a car me. parked me. here. Last time I checked, this park it's this is legal. She thinks she thinks that this is her parking area. So she decides to park in front of my house. She decides to park in front of my house. Cool. No, hey, call the tow truck, dude. Call the cops. These fools. They, got, they think they own this right here. They think they own this part of the street. Look at this. Embarrassing, dude. Embarrassing, dude. And look, look at you guys. You guys don't own this. You guys don't own this, though. You guys don't own this. No, you don't own this right here. No, you don't own this. Okay, so these neighbors found themselves in a big dispute between each other when basically this gentleman accused the other neighbor of taking pictures of his child. He went and confronted the neighbor, but she was anything but polite about the situation when she tried to start a screaming match from across the road and refused to come out and talk to him. This actually went on for several minutes where this Karen was yelling and abusing him. Let's have a look. Simply because all the parents were out here and I thought, they're going to think it's intimidating, so I'm not going to do it. So I didn't. I finished work today. There's no kids. There's no adults. I have come down here on my own. There's no one with me. I haven't come down to beat you up. If, 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 I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm honest, no, 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 I'm going to tell you now. If I'm honest, you were taking pictures of my kids. I don't know who you are. And respect that, please. I'm not saying you are, but if, if you were, I don't know that. I have come down here for an adult conversation. And listen to this. Listen. Go to the police for what? Because you think my child's. The girl that they hang about with is mixed race. I have I have cousins that are mixed race. My auntie's from Kenya. What are you going on about, mate? I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this. And this, this recording is going... I will be ringing the police now. I've come down for a very adult conversation with the Peria. Okay, so this Karen was taking her dog for a walk when her dog went to the toilet on the sidewalk. This Karen then refused to pick up the dog waist and continued on her journey, only to be caught out and exposed by another person. This lady decided to follow this Karen and expose her, which this Karen flat out denies doing, and even states that it's not her dog that she is currently walking. Let's have a look. It's not my dog. Oh, 
It is your dog. I saw you walking him. No. no yes, I did. You. Can you? You are lying. But you said that you were going to clean it up. No. You looked at me and you said, I'm no. going to clean it up. No, it's not true. You are lying. So why were you running away? I'm doing exercise. So away from me? No. But that's not how you do exercise. You're wearing flip-flops. Miss, what is a big deal to clean up after your dog? Even when I explained to you that children play their sports, you said, yes, you understand, and you will clean it up. And now you're running away. Why is it so hard to clean up your dog? You had a plastic bag in your hand. Huh? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. These pictures and this video is going to the Toronto community. Everybody's going to see what you did. They have inspectors. They come in all the time. Instead of doing the right thing, going back there and picking... Okay, so these gentlemen found themselves in an argument with this Karen because she has told them to go back to their own country among some other very offensive things. This Karen thought that she owned the street and didn't want them near her, which is obviously not up to her. And the gentlemen call out this Karen for this behavior when she doubled down and had a total meltdown, only making it worse for herself. Let's have a look. I don't want to talk to you guys. Tell me, tell me, come on. Come on, Karen. Let's see, Karen. Okay, and tell him you're driving a V8, Karen, you too. Go back to your country. Yeah, go back to your country then. Don't tell, don't, don't tell us to go back to our country. Get out of here. Get out of here, you stupid. Get out of here, dumb. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Leave us. Get out of here. Don't touch us. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go your way. Take care, Karen. Get out. Go your way. Be happy. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, and don't tell us what to You're do. You're a liar. I'm very beautiful. You were beautiful I when you walked up. When you walked old. up, you were beautiful until you opened your stupid mouth. Goodbye. 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 Go back to your country. I was born in Hungary, but you're a <laughs> Okay, so this Karen was actually caught using a stolen credit card to try to purchase some items. She was stopped in her tracks when she was caught and exposed for this, and she tried to make a quick getaway out of the store. That's when the security decided to stop her in her tracks and lock the doors, preventing her from leaving until the authorities showed up and arrested her. Let's have a look. Yo, please get me out of here, y'all, please! Please! Hurry up and get me out of here, please! Yes! Yes, they said the card is fake. And they got my ID and everything. He's, he's serious. He said that card is fake. He took my ID! Yes! Please get me out of here! No, please! The police want to get you out of here, of course. Why do you think that's right? Please get me out of here! I'm in PC Richards by the door. They not even let me through. They got my passport and everything. Please get me out of here. Please. Please hurry up and get me out of here. I'm not going to touch you, sir. Please hurry up and get me out of here now. This male Karen came up to a group of friends at the beach, stating that they weren't dressed appropriately for the beach and that he didn't want his kids and wife looking at them. He then came over to confront them and abuse them for it, even though they were dressing quite conservatively and keeping to themselves. This male Karen intruded in their personal space, made up all of these accusations about them. Let's have a look. Take young I'm at the beach in take, my bathing take, suit. Yeah, that's, that's a thong and that's a bra. That is a bathing take suit, young sir. guys into consideration. They don't need to see... Right we're not coming up to you bothering you please go away you're flaunting your stuff i'm not flaunting anything don't look at me how, how, you look around and, and you're the only thing that sticks out because your whole body okay well showing. why are you looking at me no, get the your eyes what no. if you say gouge no. your eyes no. out if i you to talk to me? Here's the thing. Please, you didn't. Please you go. didn't. But there, but here's the thing. There's okay. free will in America. There's no, freedom bro. of speech. You don't no, have to get the and if, and, if, and if men of God don't stand up, that's not even a bathing suit anymore. What would you it's like me to wear? What would you like? What me to do wear you consider a, a bathing suit? A one piece, literally. A one piece. <laughs> Or, or, or a two piece, or, or something like this that's actually modest because you don't need to be showing your body. Please just leave eyes. us alone. Oh, please leave us alone, please. Thank you. I'm just saying, 
I hope this actually touches Pull your head out of your Jesus. Okay, so this Karen was outside of a convenience store and she found herself in an argument with a group of friends. The argument escalated quickly when she threw out some personal insults and they decided to throw some back. That's when this Karen got confrontational with them and realized that she was being recorded, which made her double down when she was sent into a total meltdown. This Karen ended up getting in their faces and threatening them. Let's have a look. Recorded. Why are you recording me? I don't know Stay you. I don't know you. You do Come not on. have permission Come to on. record me. Come on. Come on. Well, I'm doing it. Oh, you're doing it. You're yeah. doing it. I am scared. See when the f y'all pull up with some to see what the f y'all do then. Some what? Some I cast me out. Are you going to cast me outside? You going to see what the N word means in a couple of five minutes. Are you going to cast me I didn't say nothing to y'all. I didn't say nothing to y'all. Why do you have a dollar bill y in your bra? Y'all can get the step in. Why is there a dollar bill in your top? A dollar bill? Don't yeah. you need it? You that broke. You had to walk to the store to get a dollar bill off me? You that broke? You dollar bill? I'm right. Take your little trip right now. Don't know nothing about black. Come on. Why are you? I'm right. You on her name. Why are you like this? Like, go to hell. Like, like this. You don't know nothing about black. This Karen had some serious road rage inside of this parking lot when she got out of her car after blocking this random lady in to confront her. This Karen got very confrontational, hurling all sorts of abuse towards her before literally snatching her phone out of her hands. This Karen then went on to belittle this random lady and refused to move out of the way, inconveniencing her. Let's have a look. You're gonna, you're gonna come up to my car? You know what, you need to relax with your little attitude. She just assaulted me. You just assaulted me. You just assaulted me. You took my phone. Shut the f up. You just assaulted You're me. You're just a little. You just assaulted me. Oh, I assaulted you. Ugh. You just assaulted me. You literally snatched my phone from me. Are you your attitude? Are you kidding me? You driving a G wagon and you act like this? This is how the rich act. This is how the rich act. I have your license plate. You idiot. A go. No, hit me. Bro, get in someone, your car and grow up. Can someone call the cops? For like, what? can someone call the cops? Like, what? what the f? Attitude because you're spoiled? You're the one in the fing G I wagon! What the f? Medical too! Shut the f up, you little f idiot! Oh, you act like that with your daughter in the car? That's real nice. I really want her to get out and do something. Like, I swear to God, do it! Okay, so this Karen has bought multiple items, including some earphones. Now this Karen wants to return the used earphones, and the company policy states that for health reasons, they cannot accept returns on used earphones. This is not good enough for the Karen, and she demands her money back when she starts belittling the employee. The employee states that he's just following company policy, and then this Karen mocked him. Let's have a look. Is this going to meet my needs right here, what Robert says? This is all bull. I want my $80. I don't want to hear what your problem is returning this. It's not health reasons. They're lying. That's bull****. Yeah. I spent $35 on these. This is the second time I've come in here. You can talk to the gentleman out there. Second time. No. You're not stealing my money. I'm getting my money back. So Th I can return that, but I can't return this. Okay, you literally are working for a corrupt organization, and you're looking at a customer that has spent hundreds of dollars here, and you're literally... Because they say on a piece of paper, you mo you're acting like a robot. Treat people like people. I'm tr I'm trying to. That's just the policy we have to go by. That's the problem. I'm trying to teach you kids. You can't just go by the policy. That you tell the manager, this policy isn't good because really this person has gone come in here several times and these keep breaking. So the policy of, oh sorry lady, you have 15 days and sorry it's a health concern is not in the customer's best interest. Okay. My money. I want my money now. This drive through dispute took place between a couple of employees inside of this McDonald's drive through Things had escalated quickly when neither party wanted to admit that they were the ones in the wrong and they wanted the manager to admit fault or have the customer leave, which neither of them were going to do. This manager wasn't expecting this customer to have a backbone like he did though when he started calling out multiple employees. Let's have a look. Hi. Is that your boss? No. No? Are you her boss? No? Who is her boss? Mercedes. Is she here right now, Mercedes? No, she's not. So she's the boss right now on duty because she just told me to f myself and I have it recorded and I'm talking to corporate. You called me d You. So, so 
Look how you, you look. So what? You, you're gonna call me? Like, like I see I it. Call you. Like you Move see your car from there. Aww. Oh, Do you like her? Because she's gonna get fired. And. Because this is the second time. And my thing that I'm telling her is they should just put a sign out there. You see all those customers? You know what, lady? I'm not talking to you. You had your chance to talk to me. You don't know how to talk. I am talking. I'm trying to resolve this issue. You're what I'm saying. By I'm not there. talking to you. I'm just saying that. They should have put a sign out there because this is the second time I came. Well, Instead, they tell me from I last time. Job. I'm not talking to you. The longer she does that, the longer I don't get to talk to you. The longer She's I don't get my point across. I'm not talking to her. But they should put a sign out there if that's what corporate does. Yeah, I'll roll you. Okay, so this gentleman is an Uber Eats driver, and when he delivered the food, apparently something was wrong, and there were items missing, and the customers blamed the driver. The driver stated that there's nothing he can do about it, and they would need to contact support for compensation, when the customers completely snapped and grabbed his bicycle, preventing him from being able to leave, and then demanded that the Uber driver give them money. Let's have a look. Can you get your camera out of my face? No. Can it, or you screwed up our order, but you're, you're not happens. doing anything about it. Contact support. I've told you this. I know, but we've tried. It connects us to you, and you you're not doing well, anything. Well, you go about it. with your no. money then. I'm not going to do our that. I'm sorry. Sixty-seven dollars that you've wasted, and you're putting it on us. And it will be refunded to you. So can you sort it out? No, can he, no, he guarantee that? No. I'm, can he guarantee that? No, I'm can, asking you a question. Can you? I uh, like I said, you Uber Uber support will answer all your questions. No, it's not Uber's <laughs> fault. It's that. yours. Do you guarantee that? Go Person, for Uber support. So I can't, can't say anything. I'm I, I'm leaving. But where's our food? You, like I said, contact Uber food? support. <laughs> where's our food? Where's our I'm calling the cops. Right. Okay, so this Karen helped herself into this gentleman's Airbnb demanding his information and why he was there. This gentleman is shocked that these neighbors helped themselves inside because after profiling him, they assumed he was up to no good and wanted him to hand over all of his information to them. It was none of this Karen's business what he was doing there. And even after he stated this, they still refused to leave after illegally entering the premise. Let's have a look. I live here. Why you, you live here? No, but why did you come open the door like that? Because yeah. I live next door. Okay. So is this Let's just say suspicious. Because you saw black people? Young people. Because no. oh, you saw black people? No. So you just walk into the house and you saw black people? No. You just profiled us? No. No. I'm disturbed. I'm laying here cool. You just open and if I was a black person who walked in the house, in your house like that, how would you feel? Asking who are you? I feel scared. I feel yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just see people just open the door. I'm laying down cool and and somebody just comes to open the yeah, door. I all right, well, we'll leave. Um, but what minute, we, we, we afraid because you said black men or something? Because this ain't but a bunch of black men. I'm just talking with the black men. Okay? What made, so what made you, you do this. that? I'm but confused. I mean, you know, we see people going in and out. We, we know nobody who lives here yet. It's like, so, you know. I know the owner of this house, so. You see people go in and out, and you know nobody lives here yet. Yeah, right. I know the owner. Okay. And what does the owner tell you what's going on with the house? These friends were shocked and appalled to find that somebody behind them was actually creepily taking pictures of them, and they were soon notified of this. That's when they decided to confront this creep and exposed him in front of everybody when they realized that there was pictures of them in his camera roll, and they forced him to delete it. This completely humiliated this creep as he begged with them to keep their voices down. Let's have a look. Uh, we were just told that we, you were taking photos of us. Are you oh. listening? Is there any way that we could see your camera roll? No, that's okay. I, I can we I see wasn't. your camera roll if you weren't taking pictures of us? Can we just see your camera roll real oh. quick? No, can you just I, pull I, out your I, camera roll? I wasn't. No, don't worry about it. If you about want, it. then I, why I'll can't you pull out your camera roll? No, I'll, I'll get rid of it. So it's really weird to take pictures of females in public without their permission, okay. so you should never do that again. Yeah. Imagine if no, you're playing with your daughter or somebody related to you. I know. That's not okay. Just delete them. Yeah, I will. I'm asking you to delete them in front of me. I will. In front of me right now. You think I'm joking? Leave them in front of me the right now. Not I working. see you shake. I see the photos. No, I see them right there. No, I see the photos right there. Delete okay. them. Right. Delete them. Don't worry. You see that, guys? One. Delete. 
One, two, three, four, five. Now go in your go in your trash bin. No, that's my go son. Go in your trash bin. Anybody recognize this man? This is somebody no, no, hey, hey. that takes pictures of females in public. No, don't worry. No, I'll and he's call married. you out. I'll call married. you out and he's Okay, so this gentleman came home to realize that somebody was literally in his house stealing his property. He confronted the thief who backpedaled and denied ever being in his home while literally standing in his home. And the reason being is apparently he lost his phone and thought that it might be in a complete random stranger's house. This thief refuses to admit that he is in somebody else's home and doesn't see any wrongdoing. Let's have a look. What were you doing in my house? I was knocking on your door and looking for my phone. Why is your phone in my house? Why is my phone in your house? Good question. Is it in your house? You're gonna have to explain that to the cops. I didn't take, did you grab my phone when I set it down when I was showing you this? I didn't touch your phone. Where's my phone? Did you take my phone? You're a horrible liar too, dude. Where's my phone? How'd you get in my house? I didn't touch your house or go in your house. I was knocking on the door. Well, we're going to stay separate until the police get here. So okay, we don't... that's so... fine, but where's my phone? I can't give it to you. It's my proof that you're in my house. I wasn't in your house. Well, somebody was. was right here. Somebody was in my house and my vacuum's missing. I didn't take your vacuum. Why would I take your, vac your vacuum, dude? I, I don't know. Why is your cell phone in my house? I don't know because you grabbed That's kind of it. creepy, bro. Do you remember? It's kind of creepy. I go in your house, dude. Then why are you f***ing so nervous? Why are you sweating so much? Because I'm, I've been looking for my phone for 40 no one's No one sweats because they're looking for Give their me phone. My phone. You can't hold my phone. This Karen was so entitled that after she blew a tire on the freeway, she decided to continue driving and putting everybody else's lives at risk. This Karen was flagged down by several people and she refused to stop and acknowledged that she was dangerously driving and pretended that everybody flagging her down just didn't exist. Let's have a look. It's definitely out. Let's see what this person's smoking. Whoa. Miss, get out of the car. Yeah. Are you on drugs right now? No, not at all. My car gave out. I mean, I had somebody help me before, and apparently the brake did not stop. Do you know you're driving on three wheels right now? Your wheel's completely out. You just crashed into this gentleman right okay. here. You almost you're a out. hazard. You're on the freeway. Oh, hey, you mice on the freeway. Okay. On the three wheels. I'm going to trade it. You need to get out of the car. I will. Just, leave just the get car. out of the car, just miss. Leave the car. You're on drugs right now. You're no, on painkillers. There's so some, yes, the you car. are. Oh my god. You are on some drugs right now. Oh my god, absolutely. Put not. your car in okay. park. It's not even in park. park. Put your car in park, miss. Put your car in park. Put it in park. It's in park. You go forward. So yeah, police sorry. are on their way. I feel so no, bad okay. Just but you're the there's something wrong with you right now. No. You're impaired. No. You are impaired, miss. Okay, so this lady had purchased some items and left the store. On her way out of the store, she noticed that an employee was actually following her and also taking pictures. This customer is really confused and asks the employee what she is doing, and apparently this employee accused her of stealing. This employee believes she had put an item up on the counter and stolen it. Let's have a look. Back over there, I didn't steal. It's literally, it's not in my pocket. Go look at the video. I didn't take anything. Something like that, I'm not even gonna bother with. Because obviously you need it. I didn't take it. Go check your videos. I didn't steal from me. Go look at the counter. There's nothing on this counter. I left it there. Go look at your video. There's nothing there. Where did you leave it on the counter? I left it on top, literally where, right in front of where she gave it to me. Okay, can you apologize for accusing me of stealing? Because I didn't steal. I did not steal from you. I didn't accuse you of that. I never said you stole anything, but I said it's not on the counter. Okay, well, I don't have it. I told you I don't have it. I don't appreciate you coming out here and taking pictures of me. I can come out here and do whatever I want. Okay, great. Okay. So can I, but I'm not right. stealing from you. All right. I didn't, didn't take it. I never said that you were. I would like for you to go check your cameras. I don't want to go check my cameras. The product that came.
Okay, so this lady was sitting on a train and she was minding her own business when somebody threw a sandwich at her head. Now, she had not seen where it had come from, but found out it was from this couple sitting in front of her, so she got out of her seat to confront them. At first, they denied several times throwing it until this lady got very confrontational with them. Let's have a look. I just threw the sandwich now. As I said, I will punch you into next week. See if time what the weather's like. I will, yeah, yeah, and I'll punch then. you as well. Punch don't me try well. me. Mate. Don't get on a high because you've been at Carney today getting a wine. Okay. Don't get on a high. Don't. You're throwing food like you're 10. Sit yeah. down. I'm not, shut up, I'm not doing what you want to tell me to Yeah, do. well, you're not going to throw yeah. food at me, are you? Well, you're, you're not going to throw food at me, are you? You're going to slap me today. I ain't going to jail for you. Slap me today. You're going to jail for you. You're going to jail for you. You're going to jail for you. I'm not saying you want to go. You're throwing food like a child. Slap me today. You're on the train that want to go home. You're the one who's raising. Your boy. I don't give a with a sandwich went over my head. What? What? And that was me. That was me. What? That was me. It was you or the dungaree. No, that was us. So who was it then? Who was it then? We don't know. Who was it then? Do I have a girl? Do I have a girl? So why is he sitting there? Why is he sitting there? I've been sitting there. Why is he sitting there? Why is he sitting there? Why is he sitting there? Listen, I will take off my wig right now and deal with both of you. Don't let me take off my wig. We're not throwing sandwiches on the bus. On the train. I'm on the I'm on the I will take off my wig. This Karen was following and harassing these random people because this lady walked her bike through the entrance of this building and this Karen was so upset by that that she actually followed her and demanded her information. This Karen then continuously harassed her only to tell her that she was going to call the authorities on them or because they walked their bike through the apartment complex. She then continuously followed them for hours demanding to know where they live. Let's have a look. Hey, it looks like harassment. Like, you can just I'm say not harassing you. I'm just... You're literally staying in the elevator with I us. I am riding the elevator. I don't then go says, home. Nobody says I can, can't can stay in the elevator. You need to just go back home then. I don't even want to find out what floor you're on. It's creepy. Well, sorry. Like, we're, we're all adults here. You don't have to literally Well, then you can the act like an adult and follow the rules and regulations of the building. I understand that, but, like, a warning is enough. Like, you don't have to... How do I warn you if you're not going to tell me what unit you're in or if I don't know where you live? That's just weird. This is unnecessary. It might be weird to you. This is just un unnecessary entirely. I can't believe this is actually happening. Are you gonna go? No. Are you gonna go? No, obviously not, because we kind of just want to go home. Okay, let's go home. You keep pressing 20, but you're not going. Well, maybe I'll push all the buttons like a kid. Why would you do that? I don't know, I like to play in elevators. Okay, so this person was trying to see a doctor and for some reason he had his phone confiscated. I assume that this gentleman was not following the same rules as everybody else inside of the waiting room and this was the employee's way of trying to get him to leave by taking his property. The gentleman was not happy about this and started recording her as she tried to call the police and just get him to leave the premise, which he wasn't going to do. Let's have a look. Your phone back, please. You do not have the right to have my phone with you. That's our property. I'm asking for it back. Now you're violating our rights. That's our property that you're having a hold of. Give me the phone back. You know, you don't have the right to do that. This is actually technically theft under $5,000. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm taking a photo. I have the right to. Yeah, I have the right to. I have the right to record everything that's happening right now. And you do not have the right to have a no, property. What's your problem? And ask you for take a seat. For what though? I said, car. I don't say I'm not going to waste my doctor? time. Yes or no? Give my phone back right now. Do you want to see a doctor? Yes or Give no? Give me the. I don't want to see the doctor today with you guys. No, I don't. No. I don't. Welcome. Give me the phone then. When you go. I, I will give you your phone. No, you give me the phone, then we leave. How can we leave without the phone? And the door. Oh, whoa, you're attacking me. <laughs> oh, that's assault. Oh, oh. That is assault. Oh, oh, oh. oh look. Oh, oh. So this lady just waved her hand at me. Yeah. 
this, Karen was harassing these employees and calling them the most offensive terms you could possibly imagine. The gentleman repeatedly told her to get out and leave the store, but she refused to do so and believed that she was owed an apology as she assumed they were saying similar things to her when they didn't even know who she was and were definitely not talking about her either. This, Karen then refused to believe this though and had a total meltdown. Let's have a look. I have slanted eyes. What else did you say to well, me? What do you guys say about me? I don't say anything about you. But they do. The lady called but me. But what, what did you say about me? You the said I have slanted eyes. No, no, no. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Because you're racist. I have not said anything racist. You're the one that called me. I have slanted eyes. You started bringing, you started saying black people, white people, brown people. Like, no, get the out of here. No, you get the out of here. You're the one that's you're the one that came in here without a mask. You're the one that's completely yeah, ignorant all about all everything. And you wear the white face. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Why don't you? Because I wasn't the one that Does was that breaking make you the rules. Why it has anything because to do with superior? Because you feel so inferior about yourself that you got to pounce on white people. Wait, wait, wait. People? You're you you're calling me? To the news? Why am I inferior? About Why am I inferior? Why? So you're calling me inferior? You're calling me inferior because I'm Asian. Yes, you just said. That's what they're talking about on the news. You're, you're talking on the news that Asians and Browns and all that are saying white people are supreme and they're all putting us What's down. Okay, so this gentleman was walking to his car in his apartment complex and this random Karen accused him of following her, believing that he had every intention to break into her car. This was obviously not the case as he literally lives here and was walking to his car and this Karen profiled the gentleman and called the authorities on him. Let's have a look. Hi, I live here. I've been living here for about five years and then Karen walked up to me just now and she was pestering me about what I'm doing following her. What, what am I doing? She came all the way to my car, and now she's, did you call security yet? I, yeah, I called one of the officers, yeah. What'd you, what, what did he say? He didn't answer. I was probably the voice You want me to help you call security? Sure. How long y'all been living here? Go right ahead, call security. How long y'all been living here? It doesn't matter how long. You got anything to say or no? You just. I got my car broken into. So I don't give a. a I don't give a. I pull in here where I pay $1,700 a month. First off, sir, the description was exactly what you're wearing. And then you have a backpack. That's crazy. So the description was me of the person that broke into your car? Yeah, the hoodie, everything. Back they had on a pink hoodie when they were breaking in? Why? I just mentioned it. I apologize. They had on a pink hoodie, black nails, and a backpack. I mean, she did this. I'm not content creator. I'm an influencer. If I wanted to, you'd be finished. Weird. If you raise your voice, no, what, if I get more likes, I get more likes if a white woman walks up to me and asks me what I'm doing in my apartment. White, thank you. She's not white. All right. <laughs> She's Mex. She's Mexican. All right. Good day, Karen. And this gentleman was actually standing outside of his own home when he was confronted by a neighborhood Karen. This Karen didn't know that he lived there and wanted him gone immediately or to even just go back inside of his home as she didn't like people outside of their property. This gentleman completely put this Karen in her place when he told her to mind her own business and left her completely humiliated. Let's have a look. What did you just say? What are you right now sitting out here doing? I'm minding my own business. What are you doing? I don't think you are minding your own business. Okay, what do you think I'm doing? I'm not really sure, but I'll figure it out. Okay, you figure it out. I'm probably where I live. Yeah, I yeah. live here too. Okay, so I'm probably at my house where I live. Got it. You feel good? Did you, did you do what you needed to do? What the f are you doing right now? I'm standing outside my house. You're standing outside of my house. Why are you standing outside of your house doing what you're doing? I don't think that's any of your concern, what I'm doing. Well, you're doing something. Uh, why don't you go back to your house and I'll be at my house? You sound like an idiot. You walked over from your house, standing in front of me at my house, yeah, trying did. to tell me Absolutely I'm an idiot? Absolutely, I did. Okay, good job. So what are you doing? I think I'm doing none of your f***ing business.
Bye. Okay, so this is one of the worst customers I have ever seen and what happened was this Karen profiled this lady and tried attacking her as well As soon as she was recorded She tried to play the victim card before crawling on the floor crying hysterically begging for help It wasn't long until the other customers and employees intervened only for this Karen to double down and go back to being incredibly offensive Let's have a look. Oh god. No, it's you. It's you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Now you are. Oh my god you Oh my god uh, do you see this? Oh my god, I'm ne I never thought nothing like this would happen to me. She just tried to run and hit me. And now she Did you see her? You saw her, right? They all saw her. Oh my god. Karen had a breakdown. She tried to hit me. Ask your workers. She tried to hit me. She tried to hit me. Now I want security for you. Please, please. Scaring me. Like you gotta go postal. No. Don't record. Don't go. No. Why don't she walk away from me? No. I was here. No. 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 We're not doing this. Why don't I walk away from her? Why don't she get away from me? She could get away. Go wherever you wanna go. You keep lying saying I'm threatening you, so I'm recording to protect myself. She's saying her rights were violated. Okay, so this lady had some noisy neighbors who played the guitar through the night. That's when she decided to come over and complain, and they stopped playing the guitar at night. They then found her returning, screaming at them, and demanding that they stop playing the guitar in the daytime as well. When the neighbors didn't oblige to this, that's when this Karen refused to leave the premise, and actually called the authorities on them right in front of them, complaining about the situation, and stating to them that it's illegal to play a guitar in their home. Let's have a look. Would you like to speak to them now, or would you like me to ring the police? Yeah, that's what we've got. Let's, Let's have a civil you. conversation we about it. We have asked them three times now, nicely, and they're still doing it. It's, it's the middle of the day. Catherine, you said there was not going to be a band. Greg asked you, and so you knew there was, did you? You knew there was going to be, did you? And you knew it was going to disturb our way of living. If you read the tenancy agreement, you will see you are not to have anyone disturbing our peace, day or night, and it's constantly. You're not the only one in the street. We need to actually. Well, we cut it off at a reasonable hour. No, it doesn't matter, day or night. Day or night. So Catherine, they're so here now harassing me. So I'm telling you now. If you don't speak to them and do something about it, I will go to the police. I'm that would giving be good you the option. to go to the police because it's not um, something that. Okay, police... because day or night, we know the legal rights of this, and your tenants are disturbing our peace. So you need to do something. You're liable for that. She's not liable. Okay, so what would you like to do? I think the police should be involved to get you on Let's sit case. down and have a civil you conversation will, you will speak to them? about okay. it. Okay. And... So when will you speak to them? Do we have to go on again for another another day like this? Because they seem to have no regard for any Okay, so a gentleman who works at a convenience store approached a customer and I guess the customer freaked out because he called the authorities on him. I believe the gentleman who freaked out profiled the gentleman who had came up to him and that's why he freaked out and called the authorities and somebody watching had actually intervened and called this gentleman out for what he had done. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not that I believe him, it's just that I want to I don't, I don't believe him at all. I watched him dart out of here. So then, so then. Uh -huh. So then stay you here. don't tell the cops a black man's approaching you in this day and age? What the hell's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? She asked me if he was white, black, or Hispanic, and I said that he's black. And then you said he's approaching me. He was walking back into did the store to do doing? his job. Did you see what he was doing earlier? Why don't you keep telling the cops what's going on so we he can tell them to when they get... I'm just trying to get my stuff. Because you were stealing all your friends. Okay, so this Karen was actually being confronted by a couple of random people because she was being very offensive towards them. She was saying pretty much the most offensive things you could imagine and she was actually called out for her behavior. This Karen refused to backpedal and apologize though and stood her ground and honestly thought she was in the right for saying something as ridiculous as this. Let's have a look. Oh, she said what? the N-word. She said the Oh, wait, what did you say? So you're a little white girl. Why are you so offended? 
I'm Asian and I'm offended. Baby, you don't have to be, seriously. But I'm just worried. Oh, she did? No, just so you know, I'm I'm not at all. Bye, love you. You, you don't have to. I'm not. I'm not. I hate everybody equally. This male Karen came into the Popeyes demanding to speak to the higher-ups immediately. That's all because he called the employee some of the worst names you have ever heard and then had a total meltdown that they would deny him service for it. He then aggressively approached the employees and even threatened to beat them up outside as well as other things. Let's have a look. I'm sorry, refund my meal. You want to talk to your boss? No. You want to talk to mother? You for her call me And what was you saying? I called her you have a nice day. Nice. Call the cops. Call the cops. And you think I won't? Y'all, all you think this is acceptable? Huh? You. What's that? What's that? What's that? You can call it as much as you want to call it. You can't call me that here. Your chicken, your chicken getting cold, fat boy. Your chicken getting cold. Your chicken getting cold. Okay, so this gentleman noticed a pair of very suspicious looking men who were driving very slowly down a street during Christmas. Basically, these two Karens were stopping at every house with parcels and presents on the porch and literally stealing all of the parcels from other people's homes. Let's have a look. Who do you work for? Who? Do you tell? You sure? Is there any at the end today? You're stealing stuff? Huh? Houses? You're caught in video. Where, where's the video? We've got it in CCTV. We're well, 70 drops a day, we're not still So anything. where's your identification? Pardon? Where's your identification? Where's your identification? I'm going to sit in the bar for... Yeah, I'm going to take your card keys, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that sounds guilty to me. I'll black you in here. I'll black you in, don't you worry. Smart. I'll break your jaw, you talk to me like that again, I'm telling you. Okay, so this Karen stood in the middle of this parking spot, holding the spot so that her husband could park their car. The problem is that somebody else was already taking the park before her, and this Karen didn't want to give the spot up. After several minutes of fighting back and forth about who would get the spot, this Karen decided to give it up and confront the girls. Let's have a look. Are you guys having a nice Christmas? Yeah. Once you leave, we'll have a wonderful but that's Christmas. Not you know but what? you don't you, you don't hold you don't hold space. space like that. You, you know don't what? stand in a space and block other people from you, parking. We got here first. You know what to set an example of no, why, why I'm gonna give you guys the space. Why are you entitled to the space? Merry Christmas. Why are you Christmas entitled? You, you explain to me why yeah. you're entitled. Not, yeah. That doesn't it doesn't work that way. And you girls like you know I hope, explain to me no, why so you're entitled to this space. I hope you have the peace in your heart. Save it to you. Why don't you uh, tell that, yourself yeah, that? No, no. That's, that's why we're giving it to you. Why don't you tell yourself that? But that's that, not lady. how it works, okay? It's not, you're not giving it to us. That doesn't work that while trying to get a difficult parking spot, the gentleman driving the vehicle was intentionally hitting the car in front of him and behind him in order to make some room. A passerby saw what was happening and decided to confront them for this when the girlfriend got out of the car and got in his face. Things escalated quickly when they wouldn't stop hitting other cars, so let's have a look. Oh, now you're hitting cars, bro. Come on. Get a job, Chad. Isn't that your name, Chad? You're going to hit up some acai berries. Listen to you, dude. You almost just got hit. Hold on. Dude, hold on. He's hitting this car right here. What are you doing? Don't touch me, please. Don't touch me, please. Please don't touch me. This guy keeps hitting this car. He is. He just hit it three times. The car, right, miss? Yeah, so why am I what such an idiot? What happened that was wrong here that we took... He the keeps hitting the car! Okay, okay. You, you don't hit people's cars. Okay. Yeah, like, what's what What don't you get? Somebody's car, Chad. Have a good one, dude. Yeah, get a job, Chad. Okay, so this lady was walking her dog when this Karen interrupted her and blocked her line of sight. What had happened was this Karen stood in her way and demanded that she walked around her and stayed off the sidewalk. This Karen actually believed as she lived in this neighborhood that she owned the sidewalk and didn't let this lady through with her dog even though she has as much entitlement to it as she does. Let's have a look. You're on my property. I'm on a dog. Leaving feces behind. I'm on a public sidewalk. Yeah, no, you're on my property. And you're hitting I take care of it. Pay me. for it. No, I'm not. I paid for this sidewalk. You shoved me. Get 
Right. I got that on camera too. Get out of here. No, just, just shot me again. You want me to hit you? You want me to hit you? I'm not on your property. Yes, you are. I paid for all this. You paid for this sidewalk. Get your out of here too. Come on. Oh, good. Woo. You got a video. Shoving me into the road. No. Okay. Okay, so this kid was in the library and he had misplaced his phone. He accused everybody around him of stealing his phone, which nobody did, and that's when he went into a full meltdown and started screaming and abusing everybody. The people recording were mocking him and laughing at him, and he was visibly frustrated about losing his phone. Let's have a look. I, I checked on the floor! What have you? In this WestJet airline lobby, there was this Karen who was not happy with a flight being delayed and decided to take the anger out on the people who had nothing to do with it. She stood in this line yelling and screaming at everybody, abusing them as well, and obviously the stewardess have nothing to do with the delay and can't get them boarded sooner. Let's have a look. And look at all those people down there. This is God Get your together. Oh. Yeah. We can't fly because of your staff shortages. Don't give me the bull. Are you done? Oh, no, yeah. I yeah. Actually, you see this? They're getting called tomorrow. I work yeah. for a bunch of lawyers. Okay. And they are getting and called you, in you your really head think, office. Do you think that I'm intimidated by Oh, no. I don't give a okay. what you yeah. think. So now... If you don't stop swearing, you're not traveling with us. Really? Yeah. Do you want to keep We're not going? traveling anyway. I want I want a refund well, we and I want a rebook. Sure that you don't travel at all if you continue Oh, to I don't give a Okay, great. In that case, we will just remove I want. Ticket. I want a refund and I'm booking with another okay. airline. Okay, okay. Three... These friends were playing together and this Karen had pulled over because she believes they were playing dangerously on the road. She also believed that she was flipped off and that's what made her so upset when she confronted the group of friends. The group of friends don't believe they did anything wrong and that's where the argument sprung out and this Karen actually got in their faces and very aggressive even though they were only kids. Let's have a look. Do something bro. Yeah, we're not gonna touch you. I tried being polite to you. I tried being polite to you. Yes, you did. This had nothing to do with you. And I tried telling you to move on and have a great day. Not me. Not me. You have no business. Not me. Not me. And you have no business coming down. You have no business coming towards me, threatening or not threatening me. You can't even keep your mouth shut long enough. You have no in your respect. I have no respect. You're towards me. Keep. Seriously. Do something. Your parents. Do something. Do something. Else do will. something. Assault me. I dare you. I will. Not gonna ruin my life. Do it. Exactly. You, you know. Like, dude, I'm not even gonna. You're not even worth my time. I'm not gonna cuss you out. This Karen came up to this gentleman's property and literally stole his bike right in front of him. It wasn't long before he tracked down the bicycle and claimed it back, only for this thief who got caught red-handed not to give it back and was actually so entitled that she would only give it back under the condition that he gave back her other bike. This thief then had a total meltdown at this gentleman and even got aggressive about it as well. Let's have a look. We found her. Don't we found her. You will? We're on public property, yeah, man. I don't care. That's my bike over there. Right to Video I'm just trying to record no. the bike. Uh, no, nope, it's not yours. Oh, it's not mine. No, right now it's county property. Oh. Property oh, it's county property yeah. now. If really? You call Ricky, get the out of my face Who's with Ricky? your camera phone. Ricky Bobby? Hey, Ricky Bobby's not coming to help you. The sheriff, you oh. You're in Manatee County. I am? Really? Yep. Uh, so that's not my bike. That you didn't you didn't take that from my house. Nope. Oh, any more? You got a bill of sale? Do you have a bill of sale? Do you have a bill of sale? 
This neighborly dispute begun when the gentleman told the other neighbor to move his property off his, which sent him into a total meltdown. He then became very enraged and tried to get confrontational with the gentleman recording before his family members had to hold him back. It wasn't long before he broke free and got confrontational and things escalated quickly between his neighbor who only wanted him to take his property off of his. Let's have a look. Hey Bobby, you're double parked right now. You're breaking... Oh no, it pa hey Bobby, it passed, but Bobby, Look. take your shells off my property. You see your shells? You have, one, you have one hour to take your shells and plants off my property. You're ugly, but you have one hour to take your shells and plants off my property. You want your property. See your shells? See your shells? You'll be moving your shells. Hey Bobby, you look upset. Hi. Those shells in one hour. Hey Bob, you're double parked. But you're double parked. Oh, I'm you're double parked, Bob. Oh, hey, Bob. Oh, you're double parked, right? Oh, Come on. You know what? You know what? Bob, you're double parked. Go oh, you're not the double. You're breaking the rules. Never quit talking to you. Talk to my wife like that again. I'm gonna be. Okay, so this woman was walking around when she realized that this crazy gentleman behind her was following her. This went on for several minutes until she decided to call this gentleman out and tell him to go away, only for him to demand to know her nationality and what religion she believes in. She obviously didn't have to give this information to a completely random person. Let's have a look. Lady, please tell me you're not Jewish. You better not be Jewish. You, if you're Jewish, you just disgraced our whole I followed her around. If you're Jewish, are you Jewish? Is that how we call you? I asked her. Right, so, so I don't have to ever see her again. Follow me around for, for like, I'm going to say two hours. You're walking and she stay here. I'm just walking. Please leave me alone. If you touch me, I swear to God. I swear to God. Stay away from me. One hour. And by the way, are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Okay, so this gentleman was at a Kentucky Fried Chicken and he wasn't happy with the serving size of his fried chicken. He decided to come back and confront the employee demanding compensation or a larger piece of chicken as he states it's way too small and he wasn't happy with it. This angry customer then demands the information from the employee who served him and had a total meltdown over this. Let's have a look. This is the piece of chicken KFC just tried to give me. My thumb is bigger than the piece of chicken. And the guy's telling me that that's an acceptable piece of chicken. Stop it, uh, Mate, I can film, I'm in the public place, I can film all I want. Yeah, I am. Can I have my money back, please, mate? Thank you, mate. You're taking a very long time to get my money back for someone who's given out a piece of chicken the size of a thumb. What are you laughing at? Look, there's my thumb. My thumb's bigger than the chicken, bruv. Okay. Yeah? Is that funny? It is kind of funny, yeah? And you're a manager at KFC, yeah? yeah What's your name, buddy? Oh. oh, you ain't got a manager's thingy on. You're no, that much of a scruff. He called, he picked, he picked yeah. There's no name tag on No name tag. Look at the stater, man. Look at man. He's got dirt down him everywhere. This Karen just caused a car accident when she entered somebody else's lane and hit their car. She then had a total meltdown at the other people, stating that it was actually their fault and that she was hurt because of them, despite her being the one who crashed into their car. She then had a total meltdown playing the victim and demanded that they pay for the damages done to her car. Let's have a look. My chances of my f***ing marathon, you're you really are. gonna pay! Really gonna f***ing pay! Can't fucking, can you stop? Like, Man, with all due respect, you're in my lane. Oh. I just be waving up. I asked you dollars. nicely to stop multiple No! No, I don't have to stop you f***ing hit me! She's been like this for five minutes. I f***ing hurt! Are you hurt at all? No! Do me a favor, yep. I Yeah, no problem. <laughs> This random person completely put this Karen in her place when she interrupted the conversation and had a justified meltdown at the Karen. This Karen was caught mid-sentence calling the employee an idiot, among other things, to soon be put in her place and humiliated in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Stupid discrimination. Hold on, don't call nobody stupid. 
You looking like a god lobster? Don't bother come up here disrespecting them. Now, if you gonna talk to them, talk to them with respect. With all that white privilege bull. Don't come in here talking to them up like that. Now, if he made a mistake, he can say he made a mistake. Now, take your long ass out that door. You get my hood. Like I said, you don't want to hell. You talking about click, click. What's up? What's up? I'm gonna pay a gym. I put a head on. That's your nose, all right? Don't play with me. Apologize to the phone. No, I don't do threats. I do promises. Okay, you do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, whatever. No, I'm talking to him. I don't care. I know you. You don't made a handkerchief out of a mess. Okay, so this Karen has crossed over the parking line and quite literally hit another car. This Karen is confronted because she has hit another car and the gentleman asks for her insurance details only for this Karen to quite literally deny hitting his car while she is currently hitting his car. This is one of the most entitled Karens I have ever seen. Let's have a look. Hey, we're taking turns and- You just hit my car. I did not You just hit my car. You just, you're literally on my car right now. Is this lady on my car, bro? Oh, yeah. You she, just witnessed her, right? She was being a hoe. Literally just drove into my... You want to give me your insurance now? I give you my phone number now. No, you can give me your insurance. I have your plate. <clears throat> just show me your ID. Where's the... Where's the damage? The damage is in the fact that you just drove into my tire, oh, my entire wheel. Please, please, give me a break, buddy. Give you a break. So if someone ran into your car, you wouldn't want their information. So if they didn't damage my car, I would not care. Hmm. This Karen actually came in and wasn't following the right rules for the store. She was inevitably denied service and asked to leave, only to be posted online and humiliated in front of everybody. She ended up seeing this video and returning to the store the next day, demanding to speak to the gentleman's manager or the store owner, which just so happened to be the gentleman and she was already speaking to him. Let's have a look. If you guys remember the girl that cut her mask, she's about to come in again. <laughs> How you doing? I see you. What happened to the hole? Yeah, uh, I seen this. What gives you the right to record this? I like to speak to your manager. The manager? Yes. I'm the manager. Well, I want to speak to your supervisor. Supervisor? Yeah. Yeah, let me go get him. Hey, how you doing? I'm the supervisor too. Uh, I'm allowed to record in public, but I see it worked. You, you didn't cut your mask anymore, so. That's because we have to wear the things, but this still gives you the right to record this. So it's you got have a million likes. You have somebody over you. I'm with that number. The corporate number. Or corporate? Yes. Yeah, let me go get your corporate number. You're speaking to corporate. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Well, you need to but it worked. You, you, you didn't cut your mask. Door. You didn't cut your mask. This gentleman was having a total meltdown on this airline when he wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. Things had escalated quickly when he flipped the switch and lost his temper at just about everybody and was incredibly abusive as well. That's when he noticed he was being recorded and focused his attention on the recordee and inevitably was removed from the flight. Let's have a look. Talking to me like that, Take me off. I don't give a I didn't even want to go to Cali. I didn't even want to go to Cali. I didn't even want to go to Cali. Talking to, I will find your name, date of birth, and address. I will know your social security number before I get off this plane. On my daughter, on that same baby that you see me on the on the phone with. What? What? So what the? Yo, yo, cuss. What the? What the? What's the plane? What they gonna do to you before? I, what's the law gonna do? Yo, mind your business. Mind your business. Cause I will break your neck. Come on, Yo, I'm, let me just explain do something. Don't do Hold on. Let me don't explain do something. It's no need. It's it's no need. What they gonna do for you before? It's no need, huh? You told me Gangsta one thing. I told you I'm gonna leave it alone. Gangsta I'll leave it alone. You leave it alone. Gangsta 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 trying to leave bro and i'm sitting here waiting two hours late. this lady found herself in a dispute with the gentleman parked next to her and in a fit of rage decided to stand behind his vehicle blocking him in and refusing to move so he couldn't leave the premise this entitled karen refused to acknowledge anyone and just sat there looking down on her phone the whole time refusing to reply or speak to anybody to resolve this situation let's have a look you are just like you are very pepper you very you you just very pepper treatable right now <laughs> I 
Hey, let that man leave, man. You got that man blocked in over there. Look, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Man, you have more important things to worry about. Like, man, you have more important things to worry about. You have to get you a man. You have to go get you a You have no man. You got to go get you a You out here being a You don't even have a You got to get you a You hear me? Man, man, I know what they said. You go on Amazon right now. They got for twenty seven dollars. You get you a home. You said put it in the case of this angry customer was waiting forty five minutes for her food and decided to take her anger out on the front counter employee who doesn't even make her food. After belittling and abusing the staff member and raising her voice at her for some time, the manager overheard the conversation and intervened. That's when this manager came over and completely put this Karen in her place while she defended her employees and told this angry customer to get out of there and refuse their service. Let's have a look. Okay, so this Karen is inside of this fast food drive through and every time she tries to belittle the employee, the automated window actually closes on her, and everything she wants to say is cut off mid-sentence. This infuriates the Karen because in between demanding asking for more condiments and trying to belittle the staff, she can only choose one or the other and doesn't get her way. Let's have a look. Hi, how are you? I'm watching you. Why? Why not? I hate this window. Yeah. Okay, so this Karen found herself in an argument with a group of people having lunch at this IHOP. This Karen helped herself and sat down next to them and refused to move out of the way, preventing this group of people from leaving the table. Things escalated quickly when a random bystander had to come over and call this Karen out for her behavior. Let's have a look. Just so you know, I came back in to give her the rest of the cash from my wallet. Okay, Ma'am, please walk away. Please. No, 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 no. Ma'am, can you please leave? Because? Can you just please leave? We're, 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 we're leaving. Can you excuse? I'm trying to get out. You need to find another place to be. Can you please leave? No, but you're making a, you're, you're making a problem. Ma'am. You need to leave us. You need to leave us. Ma'am, you need to leave Thank you, sir. Can you please leave? Is there a cop or somebody around here? This is why I asked you not to do it. Oh, so you the thin blue line? I get confused. Hey, are, hey, you hey, hey. You are you BLM? Are you Antifa? Are you You need to be quiet. Okay, so this Karen was taking her dog for a walk when her dog went to the toilet on the sidewalk. This Karen then refused to pick up the dog waste and continued on her journey, only to be caught out and exposed by another person. This lady decided to follow this Karen and expose her, which this Karen flat out denies doing. Let's have a look. It's not my dog. It is your dog. I saw you walking him. No. no yes, I did. Can you? You are lying. But you said that you were going to clean it up. No. 
You looked at me and you said, I'm no, going to clean it up. No, it's not true. You are lying. So why were you running away? I'm doing exercise. Away from me? No. But that's not how you do exercise. You're wearing flip-flops. Miss, what is a big deal to clean up after your dog? Even when I explained to you that children play their sports, you said, yes, you understand and you will clean it up. And now you're running away. Why is it so hard to clean up your dog? You had a plastic bag in your hand. Huh? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. These pictures and this video is going to the Toronto community. Everybody's gonna see what you did. They have inspectors, they come in all the time. Instead of doing the right thing, going back there and picking up. This Karen came up and confronted this couple who were walking their dog as she's part of the neighborhood watch and believes that they don't live in her neighborhood. The matter of the fact is that they do live in her neighborhood, which is when this Karen snaps and has a total meltdown, stating something extremely offensive, which is her way of proving that she doesn't live in her neighborhood. Let's have a look. I'm on the board of directors. No, you're not. Oh, I'm no, you're not. You're just lying because Okay, I then do what you want to do. Are, and they know that you're <laughs> Because these are all together. No, Don't they are think not. you have the right to come to the, in front of somebody go and ask you where know, they live, ours, who they should go. No. She was oh, trees in heart. It's right really there. sad that you live this life and then it's, you have to you come out right there, and you feel like you have to dictate there. where everyone is. We can what be you wherever you listen. You have no are. idea. I don't need to call the cops. Do it. They're ready to go. They're so ready. I'll wait right here. Go ahead, Karen. We're right here. This is private property. Okay. This isn't private property. I yes, live right here. It is. I can be anywhere no, I want to be. No, you may not. This yes, is I not can. WBA. I can be anywhere I want. I live right here. I have just as much right to this land no, as anyone else does. No, you do yes, not. Yes, I do. Yes, Any I do. Any more than you can come in my private property. I can go anywhere no, I want in this area. This is private property. Yeah, you're right. And it's private property to people who live here, and I do. No, you don't. Oh. I'm trying Okay, so this gentleman was at a Chick-fil-A with his family when this entitled person came up and told him to shut up and claimed that his kids were creating too much noise pollution in the atmosphere. This sent this gentleman into a total rage mode because he put this Karen in her place when he stood up and confronted her for it, telling her that she sounded ignorant, among other things. Let's have a look. Because you know what? You should, you're, you're, you're sitting there talking about children. I am going to keep it up. What's, 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 what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Go ahead, call him. Oh, call him. You gonna look dumb, cause this, this is the war star right now. How dumb you are right now. You sound dumb telling me my kids are making too much noise. Noise pollution. You sound, you sound ignorant. You sound like a fool. Yeah. Nah, cause she gonna talk about because they were playing. That is noise pollution. She's gonna call the police. Go ahead. You sound dumb. Thank you, sir. Okay, so this Karen was spotted stealing political signs from people's yards, which is obviously illegal as it's their signs on their property. So this Karen had to trespass and take their property in order to steal it. This Karen was caught and exposed red-handed when she tried to profusely apologize and hide her license plates. She ended up having to give that up when she realized that she couldn't hide her license plates and also leave the scene at the same time and tried to backpedal her way out of her wrongdoing. Let's have a look. We're coming in our neighborhood, pulling our signs. You come in our neighborhood pulling off our signs. Do not touch my and then car. she have. Do not touch my car. Then she have her tag. Then she have her tag please covered don't up. Touch my car. Then she have her tag Sir, covered I'm up. I'm asking you to please let me go. Please let me go. I need some help. Sir, I'm really sorry. You're sorry for what? I did leave the. I did leave the tag. I did leave it. Can you go put it back? Yes, I will. Can you go put it back? I promise I will. Because I'm getting ready to call the police. I'll go put it back. You're from Hillsborough County, and yes. you're coming in here destroying the neighborhood I that I grew up it. in. You're coming in here, and you're destructing the neighborhood that I grew up it in. Said, it said flush Trump. That's freedom of it, street. It, it said flush the turd. That's freedom it's, of speech. It's disrespecting the current president, That's sir. freedom of
A package was being dropped off at the front of this apartment building only for this Karen to see this and have a total meltdown over it. This Karen stated that they're going to deliver her package up the stairwell of the apartment and at her front door. The delivery driver wasn't willing to do this and instead left it at the entrance of the apartment complex, which sent this Karen into a total meltdown. Let's have a look. No, 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 no. You take to my apartment. You take to my apartment. No, you take to my apartment. You take to my apartment. They promised. They tell me, yes, you take it to my apartment. Okay, this is unbelievable, 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 unbelievable. You take to my apartment. I can't carry. I have a bad back. No way. No way. No way. God, God, no. God, no. God, no. God, no. God, no. I can't carry that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. You take it upstairs. Where's the other guy? No. The other guy? I'm single. I can't carry it. I'm old. I'm 60. 60 years old. Why you? I can't carry this. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not happening to me. I, I gave my life to Christ. No, 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 no. No, I believe in the love of the Lord. No, 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 no. no. This gentleman was actually at work when he was stopped and confronted by a Karen. This Karen believes he was up to no good and actually wanted proof as well as his identification of who he was and what he was doing there. The gentleman obviously didn't give her anything as he doesn't have to provide a random person with his identification. And that's when this Karen started recording him claiming that her husband was a cop. Let's have a look. Well, some ran, like some random lady. And you're not acting professional. Some random lady just came and asked for my, my identification. You are tampering with the law. And my credentials while I'm at work. <laughs> I don't know that you... Show me your credentials. <laughs> you're making a fool of yourself, man. No, ma I am protecting the DMV. You're making a complete fool no, of yourself right now. No, I'm protecting the DMV. You know what? I'm married to a cop. <laughs> so? What does that supposed to mean? It means that you're, you're not complying with being... You're making, you're making you're a fool... You're not even acting like an employee. You're making a fool of yourself, no, ma'am. No, you are. Ma'am, can carry on. Look at this right here. Look at this woman. I don't even want to say what I really want to say, man. dun da 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 Never thought this Karen was driving very dangerously and recklessly when she was flagged down by this other driver. This other driver tried to let her know that she shouldn't drive like that, but this Karen had a total meltdown when she tried to yell her point across. This Karen tried to state why she was speeding and driving erratically, and even justified it as her husband was sick, and thought that that gave her the right to drive recklessly and put other people's lives in danger. Let's have a look. Go toward you. You think that I'm striking? You're gonna go down to the police no, and didn't. say she beat me about the face because she pointed at me. Do you take meds? Anything Does she take meds? Off? She's fine. She's staying calm. You're yelling. You're parked in the middle of the road. She won't. Let she me is listening. Speak. My husband is home, being very sick, and I needed to make an I needed to make an errand, and I needed to make it quickly. Then you will go. If you're from Pomfret, you won't listen to me. I'm sure. I'm from Barner. If you're from Pomfret, you know. Well, family is from I don't give a sh if your great grandfather was Ethan Allen. Would you listen? You know, my aunt's uncle was Ethan Allen. Great, great uncle. Really was. <laughs> she must really be a good friend because she's heard everything you said. No, no, she really she never, is. Did she ever shut up? She, you're the only one talking. No, she won't let me talk. She, I'm, I'm trying to talk. tell you about my husband and why I was doing what I was doing. Number one, that is my normal no speed. Reason to run over Okay, so this entitled Karen blocked the entrance to these apartments until this gentleman identified himself to a completely random stranger. Obviously, this Karen who blocked the entrance to the apartments had no authority to do so, so the gentleman obviously wasn't going to identify himself to a random stranger, but no matter what he did to get back into the apartment, this Karen simply wouldn't budge and let him in. Let's have a look. Recorded. Let's call the police. Call a couple of police. Dude. I'm going to call them right now. Do it. Identify I'm, yourself. It please. doesn't matter. Please identify yourself. You, you can. Want, please identify yourself. I don't have to identify. Yes, you do. Because no, if I you're don't. stepping into this building, you absolutely Are you? You're to, not the gatekeeper of this building. I live here. It doesn't matter. It I'm does. here visiting. Then you identify yourself. No, you, they call the police. Like, this is really please weird. Please leave. Please stand outside. I'm not going to. Please stand outside of the Dude, door. Dude, I don't have to. You're, you are in my way. You have no right to be here. I, you have no right to tell me that. Absolutely, I do. No, you don't. I'm here to make sure the building is 
Hi, there's a person John, this is your home. He's calling the police hey, on me. John, your, your, your buddy here, I asked I don't have to identify myself to this gentleman. Please let, please, please let him know that if he comes in here to let people know who he's visiting. Thank you. Thank you. Dude. Don't do that. No, no, Dude, I can't God, wait God, to make God. this video go viral. God, God. God. yeah, that's... Okay, so this gentleman was recording this Karen who profiled and started abusing this family. This Karen mid-abuse realizes that she's being recorded and turns her attention to the recordee. That's when this Karen gets in his face and demands that he deletes the footage immediately and starts threatening him too. This Karen states that he's going to be in very big legal trouble if he doesn't shut the recording off. Let's have a look. You were a little bit I'm not done anything wrong. Like we live he here, shouldn't right? be here. He's not yes, but you can't touch people's property. You are filming that? Yep, okay. I can. This is legal. Can you please stop that? No, now? you're nope. not allowed to do that. Miss, if you're you, not if, allowed to do listen, that. Listen, if you come close to me, you're not allowed to do that. I'm Turn that off nope. now. Nope. Call the cops. Will you, you can't do that. That's Turn assault. that off, please. Now. Listen, if you put your you're hand on me, I'm not that doing is anything. Battery. I'm telling you, nope. stop nope. doing that. Nope. If he doesn't stop doing that, it's going to be Listen, I am doing this for my own protection. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. Okay. I'm asking you to turn it off. Listen. Turn it off. I am not turning it off. Why you are you ignorant? Really? Why are you asking? Get him here. You don't listen, like... You know what? All, no. We all belong you're here. Ugly. You, you're that just was too really much. rude for you I to say that I asked you a simple question. You were touching their asked. stuff. You shouldn't have touched their stuff. You were, touching their, you were touching their stuff, they were saying. That was No, nice. he said he wasn't cooking. We are from Collingwood. We're supposed to be that's nice that's to fine. people. They're we are Canadian. We are all Canadian. It doesn't matter. We are all... This incredibly offensive Karen profiled this gentleman at this convenience store before things escalated quickly. This Karen was incredibly offensive and even got confrontational with him when she put his hands on him. This all unfolded in front of her grandchild as this entitled Karen tried to get her away but it was inevitably denied access from the store. This Karen then took this rage to the parking lot and she did this. Let's have a look. Take that shirt off and leave. Okay, I don't care if you don't like my shirt. Are you really right now? Word. You are. No, you are. You want me to no, take my shirt off? I'm not saying a word. I'm not going to take my shirt Hi. off. Hi. Hi. I'm going to ask her I'm going to do it myself. Oh, it's okay. And okay, because you're like, don't come back either. Have a nice day. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, here. Oh, you stay right here. What did you say? You heard me. You heard me. Just give You're me not, no, shoe. no. You stay right Shut here. Up. Stay, you. You. You gonna say that in front of my daughter? You gonna say that in front of my daughter? Her mother's black. You don't say that. Shut up. I wish you would touch me. Shut up. Okay, so this Karen is accused of hitting somebody's car in this parking lot when she disagrees and pretends that she didn't. The gentleman tries to get his wife to talk to this Karen to exchange insurance information, but this Karen is adamant that she didn't do anything wrong and gets aggressively defensive really quickly. It wasn't long before this Karen started yelling and arguing with the gentleman accusing her of hitting his vehicle. Let's have a look. Until you went up and kicked it! That is the Hey, about to hit that truck, yeah, that's we have cameras, that's what I'm saying. I didn't hit your And then you're like, I'm gonna take my wife. My wife will handle this. Oh, I'm about to call you with John Carter to talk to you. But did she? No, she came swinging at me. You hit her face. No. no, no you no, stand no. here. No, y'all go back to your brown country. Exactly what it is. It's I'm right here being a black man. I don't what you're married to. Look what you just said. Go back to your country. Yeah. Really? Y'all brown. I'm, I'm American. I'm black. And if your husband's okay. black, then what? Normal? No, yeah. you're not. How many American I didn't leave the scene. I'm still here. I didn't have no papers and I thought I was. You car, bro. You hit my car. You hit your new employee. I got out the car. You hit the car. You. Okay, so this Karen was asked to follow the rules of this restaurant several times and refused to comply. By the time she had followed the rules, it was too little too late and she was denied service. This Karen had already paid for her food, but she was offered a refund. But as this Karen was too busy abusing and belittling the employees, she forgot to just take her money and leave or go someplace else. Let's have a look. What's he gonna do though? Well, the police Ain't are that coming. Video what going? that video do? Neither what that video do? What that video do? What that video do though? 
I give you your money back. Why don't do that video? Do I, I pay for my food? I give Not you your money, money, back. money back. I already gave you your money back. As you can see right here. Girl, you so little stupid. Money with your little scary. Okay, well you're gonna leave or I'm gonna make you leave. Okay, then they're coming. I just stand. I'm gonna tell them how safe you is to make sure you get fired. That's great. You do that. You broke bond. In the Both of you need to step outside until you have a mask on, okay? Girl, I got my mask on. I'm not talking to you. Now, she want to buy somebody else. She want to buy the other people now. She ruled it. Everybody ain't that. She ruled it. I'll give you a mask. She ruled it. Crazy city better than that. She's she talking she about some weed to stand outside because we got to order in food, but everybody in it is standing in it. This male Karen started hitting on somebody who was at the gym working out and minding her own business. The lady didn't give him any attention as she wasn't interested and was just there to work out. That's when this male Karen completely snapped, demanding her respect and even told her to leave his gym when he realized she wouldn't date him. Let's have a look. This is not nice. You're not a nice person. I'm not a nice person when you try and come on to me while I'm working out after I tell you I'm 17. Are you out of your f***ing mind? And then you have the audacity to tell me to it's get legal. out of a gym that it's I have a legal. right to use? 17 is legal. I never said... I never get said. your head out of your ass and don't yeah. speak listen, to me that way. Listen, listen, listen. Don't point your finger respect at me. Respect older people. You know, oh, I respect mean? older people. Yes. So yes. when it comes to going on a date with me, you're not that old, but now I have to respect you? I just said, let's go out normally, like normal people. I don't want to go out with you. Okay. Especially after you tell me to get the f*** out of a gym that because, I have a right to use? Because you told me, because you told me, oh, don't approach me. Who, who are you to tell me that? Who, who are you to, who are you to come on to me? Oh and I feel like you have a right to come on this to me. This is useless. This is useless. Go home. Go home. Go home. Watching talk to me. Go home. Talk go home. When get your kicked out of the. Lose my temper. Get the out of here. Yeah. Listen. Go home. You understand? Go home. Tell your daddy, bro. Listen, I'm done with you. Like, bro, I'm not gonna talk to any of you. Yeah, you're right because you because you okay. you give me trouble. You give me trouble. Okay, this is all you do. You're not you're good for nothing. Get out of here. You're good for nothing. I'm not even gonna talk to you. All right. You're, you're this Karen was in a coffee store and she was creating hell and throwing things around. She was abusive to just about every employee, getting extremely aggressive with them and in their faces. She was then denied service and asked to leave the premise, which she refused to do, and stated that if they wanted her out of the store, they would have to call the authorities on her to get her to leave. Let's have a look. Call the police! Because I'm not getting back down here until you call the police. Call the police! Just leave! Just leave! Just leave. Just leave. Call the police! Call the police. Call the police. You're wasting my time. Call the police. Black Lives Matter. Call the police. I'm not going to hit anybody. Call the police. 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 Okay, so this Karen was waiting to get some ice cream and she wasn't happy with the wait and when she'd received it, she believes that she was given the wrong scoop of ice cream. She wanted to speak to the manager immediately to get this employee fired over the mishap and then started abusing literally everybody and was denied service. This sent her into a total meltdown and only made matters worse as she held up everybody in the line. Let's have a look. She told you what we wanted. One of the doubles was supposed to be two different scoops. And that's what we paid for. No, we do pay for people, please. Sir, you better give me the correct ice cream right now. You pay for the please. You pay for the please. Sir, I want to talk to the manager. I'm not dealing with this anymore. You need to just get me the correct order now. Separate Correct. Scoops. Correct. So one almond and 
Don't you do a double scoop where there are two different flavors? That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you so much. A group of friends were actually causing mayhem inside of this store, and as they weren't following the same rules as everybody else, they were asked to leave. They took offense to this and actually trashed the store on the way out, before abusing everybody and just creating this huge scene. These teenagers even got aggressive about it, when it was really simple to just follow the rules, which they weren't going to do. Let's have a look. Mandate, right? Right, yeah. right. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I could be this close to you. Can you can leave? Leave? You need to back up out can of my face. Can we leave? Of course, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. You little you a female now since I'm a boy. Okay. <laughs> I just said, uh, hey! Hey! Get the f out of here, right? What the hell are you doing? I'm a boy, you're I'm a girl. Okay, watch out. Why you walking too close? Now she's throwing stuff around. <laughs> hey, shut my f home. You call me a boy. You call my. Hey, shut my f up. You call me. Talk to me correctly. Jeez. Jeez. Red, red and black. My dress. dress. Hey, Get the hell out. No, that's a no. Hey, I say you got dress, baby. Hey, you got very much not dress. Hey, come on. Jeez, just assault. This Karen stampedes into this burger shop because apparently they had made her order wrong yet again. She had gotten all of the way home until she realized it was wrong and stampeded inside of the store before slamming her meal on the counter, demanding that it be fixed yet again, but correctly this time. This Karen starts yelling at just about everybody, belittling them and stating that it's not rocket science and that they need to compensate her for the inconvenience. Let's have a look. Well, you got half of them right, the other half of them wrong. This is the third try to get these burgers right. I am really angry. I got all the way home. And they're still not right. I don't know who is so stupid you can't read English. It's not hard. I'm really angry and I'm sorry I'm yelling. Okay. I'm really upset. But you did it once, you did it once. Okay. And they're still wrong. Okay, it's I'm not sorry. hard. This is burgers. This is ketchup, mustard, onion, pickle. Yes, this is not rocket science. Okay. Give me one second, okay? I've got all the way home and back again now. Did you get a light and you should hurt me because I'm really, really cruel. Oh, sorry, I have to pull down. Disturbing eaters. I get a chicken, please. No, I don't need the chicken. I ate it. It was awful, but I ate it. Oh, it was. That's the worst chicken I've ever had here. This angry driver actually cut this gentleman off so that she could stop and confront him. She was having a total meltdown at him on the middle of the road, inconveniencing everybody behind him. The reason being is she claims that this gentleman cut her off and she wanted to take down his information and his plates so that she could send them over to the authorities and have him charged. Let's have a look. I'm calling 911 and you put me off. You want one too? Not a problem, my friend. Right back at you. Hi. Yeah. That's your camera. Yeah, that is my camera, and I'm calling 911 right now. And you're making miss my appointment, my doctor's appointment. You're making Either yourself you miss apologize. it. Either you you're, apologize. You're making yourself miss it. No, you didn't have to do the verbal F you and call me a did you? Did you? Hey, I'm pulling over did where you? I live. Did you? Then apologize and we let it go. Or you want to go and I press charges. Because look, I am a disabled and I have problems. And I am missing my appointment because of you. And you're paying for my co-payment. I'm not kidding. You can video all you want, but you cut me off and you did. Whatever you did. Go ahead, have the camera, but look it. I'm missing my appointment, mister. All right, 911. This is enough. You're videoing me. And you want to put it on YouTube. And, go, and, and I'm like, I honked at him because he was too close to me. And then he flips me off and calls me a So I pull over and I say, what was that? That was not necessary to cut me off. So he's filming me right now as I'm talking to the police officer. So I need to believe this gentleman had his vehicle parked and a speed camera van had just parked in front of him and he was blocking the view of the vehicles. The police officer decided to confront the gentleman and demand that he move his car immediately as he couldn't issue any fines to speeding vehicles as the gentleman's vehicle was blocking the camera. Let's have a look. Say to me. Why do I do I have to move? Because I'm filming. So what? Just got to just... Alright then, you stay there then. Yeah? Okay, there's no yellow lines, I can park here if I want. 
So what? Okay, I've got, I've got, I've got sacks. So I can bark where I want. What's your number? Come here. What's your number? Come here. What's your number? What's your number? What's your number? What's your name? What's your, What's three, your name? Three, five. Five, six, twelve, sixty-three. Right. You, I'll break it. I've asked you to move. I'm, what am I doing wrong? Obstruction. No, I'm not. I'm parking. Read that. Obstruction. Obstruction. Obstruction, Read what? Read the letter, you know. I'm not. Yeah. No, I'm not. I've parked I up. I'm on. So what? I'm on, I'm on, I'm on my brake. I'm parked up. All to you have to out. do is the backboard in front of me. Why are you kicking off? Yeah. Why are you kicking off? I'm not. I'm just parked up. Because look at the look at the so view. You can put it. I'm filming you on here. Okay. You're so what? The letter there. I've got oh. your registration. I'm You're going to get it in the post. What? So what? Who are you swearing at? Who the hell are you swearing at? You're getting reported, mate. Okay, so this angry customer was demanding a refund, but they were struggling to validate the receipt she had bought in and couldn't confirm the authenticity of the purchase. The employee actually had to get the manager over because before this employee could even look into her refund, she started screaming at him and abusing him as well. The manager came over and tried to de-escalate the situation. Let's have a look. My taxes is on there. Manager, I don't have nothing to do with that. My, I don't know what, uh, what he's talking about. I purchased that. I bought it. Okay, you need to calm down because you're getting loud for no reason. For absolutely no reason. Okay, well, my money is. I don't give a. I don't care who you call. I don't care what happened. I, I will leave this motherfucker though. Because he just took my motherfucking money. This Karen was an extremely aggressive driver when she flipped somebody off after cutting them off. The driver ended up following this Karen and confronting her for it, where she instantly regretted her decision and had a total meltdown. This Karen then screamed that she was under attack and tried to close her eyes to make it disappear. Let's have a look. I don't Karen, you are you don't okay? What's Can you explain to me calmly? I'm not attacking you. Ma'am, you flicked me off. You're ready to take me. This is not true. No, we're not true. Karen, you flipped me off. No, you cut me off and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? Guys, she flipped me off. She literally flipped me off, and then she tried to come home. She's Karen. Karen, would you like to calm down and have a conversation? Why are you. Am I attacking her? Ma'am, I'm not attacking you. You flipped me. Ma'am, I'm not attacking you. You flipped me off and you thought you could get away with it. You didn't think I would find you. She can apologize for calling me and flipping me off. I'm trying to talk to you. My name is Carlos. Would you like to speak to me? This is what we get picked. Ma'am, why are you sitting here crying? What have I done to you? This Starbucks employee was actually being belittled and abused by a 10 year old girl. This employee decided enough was enough when she gave the same attitude back to this young lady, only for her to run off crying to her mother. That's when the mother ran over and abused this employee, stating that nobody will talk to her child like that and only they can talk down on other people. Let's have a look. Seriously. Uh, what can I get for you guys? No, they know I'm going, doing nothing until they bring a supervisor over here. And I'm dead serious. She's disrespecting she's a 10-year-old. She's talking to you. So I need a supervisor now. Because I wasn't being rude to you. I wasn't yelling at you or nothing. But once you disrespect my child, then yes, I have a problem
I was being very respectful to you. I wasn't raising my voice okay. or nothing. But you're gonna over disrespect my kid. This is over a cup, guys. No, you're disrespecting my over daughter. That's what it's over. Dude, first off, she's calling her a My daughter stepped she... in. I'm trying to calm myself down know, after she disrespected my 10 year old daughter. We have so, witnesses here, so we can do that too. Oh, that's yeah, fine. Oh, she, yeah, they could rewind ahead. the cameras. Do not disrespect my daughter, like I said. I didn't want say you, anything. What, she man. doesn't want, you really want to say so? She started calling her and my daughter told her not to be disrespecting her tia like that. And what'd you she call started. Me? She started one. yelling at my 10 year old daughter. I didn't yell at her, first of all. I did not yell at her. You said, who the f you? Exactly. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Her. yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. This crazy Karen came into this little Caesars and was stating that they were not taking care of the environment and didn't agree with how they made their pizzas. She then had a total meltdown at them stuffing her recording down their face and accusing them of all sorts of things even though they don't own the store and choose how the products are made or what equipment is used. They simply follow the rules. Let's have a look. Yeah, we have one Mother Earth, right? We have one Mother Earth. You get it, right? Yeah. One Mother Earth. Take care I'm of it. Sorry, did Respect it. Respect, Respect it the I'm way sorry. it deserves. I'm sorry. Have a good night. I'm going to send this to your manager. And I'll, I'll get him. Yeah, no worries. You out too. Get your manager. Let's go. Hey, Justin, come here. Justin. Justin, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Justin, let's go. I don't care about your kids. Let's go. I'm sorry to bother you, Justin. Your employees don't care about the environment. I didn't throw this out. Don't if worry, I'm recording. I'm recording this whole time. It's I'm recording on Facebook Live. Facebook Live! Did you just leave? Facebook Live! Have a good night. Facebook Live! But on the way. Okay, so on 4th of July, a bunch of neighbors got together and shut off some fireworks together. Another woman who lives in the area came over and told them to shut it down immediately before she calls the authorities. The neighbors get together and gang up on this lady and tell her to mind her own business and to go away. But this lady is really upset because where they are doing it is not actually their property. Let's have a look. Karen. We're still going to be in front of your apartment well, down here. That's my apartment. Just move it down. Otherwise, the That's man that I owns this driveway is going to be very... Well, no, he's not. Call him. Call him. Bye. Bye, Bye Karen. Goodbye. Bye-bye. You don't own here. You don't own it. I realize Just let them do their fireworks one night. It's the 4th of July, lady. These Karen's are getting out of hand. You are not in New York. You're in Florida. Florida. It's, it's Florida. not illegal right, right here. Bye, Karen. You need to go back to New York and do that. Because you would have never did that in New York. The governor said they should do fireworks on the 4th of July. Just let them do it. That's all they're asking. You don't want her to do it. Are you okay with them doing fireworks down there? But you want to stand in front of them and not let them yeah, shoot out Why is that? Why is that? Tell me. Tell me. Why? But they're literally. Right Why didn't you go down, down there? Pearson's apartment. So what the f is the issue? Yeah, just let them do it. They, they're they're not doing it. They got you. some fireworks. It's going to be quick. It's going to be yeah, over. It's, it's just let them It's the 4th of July. July. It's July. This crazy male Karen confronted a random lady at this Walmart for literally no reason. This crazy Karen threatened her and started getting confrontational as well when the lady literally didn't do anything and didn't even know who this guy was. This aggressive male Karen then stated that they would have to call the authorities on him if they wanted him to leave the premises, which he refused to do before having a total meltdown. Let's have a look. Yeah, take a deep breath. Ha! Right back at you, you're on medicine. You don't know who the f you're f***ing with. I don't give a Mind your business. You understand me? Sir, what's the problem? Ask her. Ask her. I was literally not doing anything. Bull. 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 I ain't leaving after this is all. Nope. Bull. Call, call PD. We're gonna call PD. But yeah. Your behavior is not gonna be tolerated. I don't give a. Well, she's to mind her business and stay out of my business well, right because she doesn't know the, the, what the right is going right on. I don't give a. I don't give a. I don't give a. 
find that rat. No bullshit. You know what the Did you receive my contacts? No. My email? No. I'm just no that. Hey, calm down. Man. No that. Hey, you need to leave. Let's leave it. I ain't leaving. That's all right. I mean, we'll get the cops in here. Get the cops in here. I give a. I know. You know exactly what's going on, Steve. I know my contacts are lost, my messages, and my photos. I don't give a flying. I don't give a flying. This male Karen was inside of this grocery store and he wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. He was given every opportunity to just follow the rules and inevitably asked to leave the store. It's then that he was sent into a total meltdown and refused to follow the rules or leave the store, which left the employees with no choice but to call the authorities on him where they showed up and detained him. So let's have a look. Hey, I want you because I'm white, she asked me to leave the property. It is because of what? What else is it? Knock it off. Don't tell me knock it off. I ain't saying nothing. Put us down and leave now or you're going to jail. Well, okay. Where are you throwing your finger at me for? I'm just wanting to know why she asked me to leave the property. Because I'm white. Because I'm white. You used to put on a mask. Down here. Well, you know. Who's trespassing? My, my, in my, I don't know what county you are, but in my county, my sheriff said it's an unlawful mandate. My sheriff said Okay, guess what? I don't work for Darren King. I work for town more. Okay. And I'm telling you, this is your philosophy. You're not even wearing your mask right. <laughs> if you want to cut, if you want to get to that. No, I cut because it's because I'm white. Come here. It's because I'm white. It's because I'm white. Yeah, it is. Okay, this, this is. I'll put it down. I'll walk back out here. I'll walk back out here. But this is. This, she, you. She, I need you to ask him in our presence to leave the store. I'll leave the store and I'll come back in because I'm white, you're doing that. No, you're not coming back in. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Don't worry, I was filming him the entire time. <laughs> Micah says I got him on film. <laughs> Okay, so this Karen was raising hell in this place of business and for this reason she was asked to leave the premise. This Karen was given several opportunities to leave but she refused to do so and also refused to put on a supplied mask. That's when enough was enough and the authorities were called and she was detained and humiliated in front of everybody when she tried to state that she was profiled and that they didn't have a legal reason to detain her. Let's have a look. Oh. When you're legally detained, you can play back on your video. When you're legally detained, you have a duty to identify yourself to a police officer. Okay, so they're saying when I'm legally detained, which I was not, that I have the- Can you try to run her with out of date of birth? False. White female, approximately 40, 45 years of age. How am I legally detained? Can you- We were called here to investigate after I was judged. Okay, so they're saying that- And I called that, you too. Okay, so let I me- I called the police too. Are you going to let me talk or are you going to be the only situation worse? No, you are! By not following the law. First of all, I don't have to identify myself. Yes, you do. Actually, I don't. It's called common law. You should read up on it. I do not. Okay? So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of God. This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land as much as it is yours. I did not sign up for this. I am a Christian woman of God. And you are not going to put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. I will not have it. Do you understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to. And it's not going to happen anymore. Do you understand? The CDC just released. Turn around. Oh my gosh. Oh You're my about gosh. To play this game. Oh my gosh. This Karen found herself in an argument with another lady because the other lady had taken a public parking spot. This Karen believes that she was entitled to this public parking spot as she had lived in the area for longer than her and thought that that made her entitled to it. This Karen then had a total meltdown at this random lady before getting in her face and very aggressive with her as well, which as you can see by the video did not end too well for her. Let's have a look. Aren't you late for work? That's okay. I live there too. What makes you different? What makes you different than me? What makes me different than you? Yes. The fact that I've lived here for 20 years. Okay, and I live over and there and I pay rent as years. well. I don't care if you pay rent. Okay, and I don't either. You're still on the yellow line as so well. So are you. Okay, so what was your point in coming out and, and telling me anything about myself? What? 
Why are you telling me about myself when you're Why also on the yellow line? You about okay, and I'm telling you about yourself. Aren't you, you late for work? Need to park and you here. don't need to park on the yellow line either. She doesn't need to park here. I don't know where hey, look, you she's on the yellow. Look, she's on the yellow line. I'm on the yellow line. Slim, go over there. What do you see? Both of us parked on the yellow line. But because she lives here. Exactly. You're not supposed to park here either. But because okay, she lives well, there. Don't park here. Don't, don't park, park up against don't, my Please car. stay six feet away. You are a Karen. I got you on camera. I, I got you on camera. I did not I got, spit in your you face. face. I got you. You're a you don't talk just in my face. You spit in my face. Call the cops. I got it on camera. You saw her come in my face. Get out of here. You. Why did you get in my face? I'm over I here. You're over there. Spit in your yes, you face. did. You said. This lady had parked her RV on the street when she was confronted by somebody who lives nearby. This person stated that it was bringing down the value of their neighborhood and they wanted her out of their neighborhood immediately and to move the RV. When this Karen realized that they were not going to move the RV, they had a total meltdown at them and started getting really confrontational as well. Let's have a look. You and your trash and your sh are not going to stay here. Go behind sports arena. That's where you park you and done? live. I'm not living here. Where are I you living? Okay, you. who's your friend? I'm not telling you who my friend is. I'm staying at my friend's house. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Where? I'm where? Not where? Camping where? Here. where does None of she your live? business. I don't need to tell you that. You're in trouble. Fine. Call you're the cops. I'm calling the cops. Call the cops. I'm on a public street. I'm calling the cops, and you're gonna have a problem with the neighborhood. I'm on a public street. I'm not doing anything. I don't give wrong. a fine. No, it's a public street. But this is not a place for you to park. Yeah, it is. No, it is I not. I park a car on the street. No, you cannot park an RV like this yes, on the street. I can. You are in so much trouble. Okay. Call the cops. Come, no, I want Call you to come out. I want I'm you to come out. out. Come on. No, you. I'm not coming You. I'm not coming out. Well, when you do come out, you're going to have to come out. When you do, I'm going to be watching because I live right there. Great. Okay, I'm gonna be watching. When you do, I'll be right there. Great. And so will other neighbors. Great. We're gonna all be here. Great. Right I'm not doing you. anything wrong. You're the one yeah, who's you are. No, disturbing. you are. You're, you're parking. One, you're listen. We you're don't the want. One who's we don't want this neighborhood trashed up. Face. I'm not trashing anything. Yeah, I'm you are. Here. You're parking your piece here. That is not Th trashing. That's parking. I'm allowed to do that. You have a. This Karen was demanding her dollar back inside of this convenience store as she wasn't happy with the product. She tried everything to get her dollar back including abusing the employee and yelling at him for several minutes. Things escalated quickly when she actually started picking up items on the counter and throwing them at him before calling him all sorts of names and making all sorts of accusations towards him. Let's have a look. Call the police please, I'm waiting. Unfortunately the phone's not working. Oh the phone, you want me to call him? Yeah. You want me to call him? Yeah. Cause I will. Go ahead. Give me my money back. Now. I'm not going to deal with a belligerent I, customer. I am not belligerent. You are. You are just respectful, dude. I did not disrespect you. Oh, you didn't? No. You, di you didn't? No. You didn't. So when I pick up a dollar mother item and you want to throw it at me? I did not throw it. And tell me that you have bull, mother bull. I put it back. No, 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 no. This is what you did. I'm going to show you what you did, homeboy. Right here. One dollar. One dollar is what it says, right? So I bring it up to your counter, you say it's the wrong price. I take you over there to show you it's a dollar. If you go like this and you say, I ain't got to change it. Give me my money back. You're not going to disrespect me. Your phone don't work. I'll call the cops. I Give me my money it. back. You are disrespectful. I hear you. You hear me? Yep. No. No. Who the do you think you are? I forgot my oh, name. Oh, don't refund my money. Tell her to leave the store and I'll return it to you. I'm called the cops because I'm a veteran. Cops love us. I'm not gonna. I'm work. not. You're gonna to no, you You're say, gonna go refund my money. I'm not gonna deal with her while she's yelling at me. I'm gonna if, deal if, with you. If, 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 if I re I return this to you because you're being respectful and if she gets out, this I'll is go. My husband. You I don't care. Your husband was raised right. 
this, Karen was being a very difficult customer when she wasn't following the same rules as everybody else, but also abusing the employee. The employee didn't take this lightly though when he started pushing her buttons back, and that was enough to send this Karen into a total meltdown because she ran behind the counter in an attempt to attack him. Let's have a look. I need you to stop harassing the customers. Come back here. Come behind the register. I got you on recording. I'll show this to the cops. <laughs> Come back here. I'll show this to the cops. You lame-o. What did you say? You lame-o. Oh my god, what, you're mean. What did he say? Lame-o. What's that? It means you're a loser. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> This entitled Karen believed that she was cut off in this Taco Bell line and for this reason got out of her vehicle and walked up to this random lady and started coughing in her face. This Karen wasn't expecting this lady to bite back though because she threw her drink in her face before getting out of her vehicle and confronting this Karen. Let's have a look. Okay, so this male Karen was caught and exposed taking very creepy pictures of girls. That's when he took a picture of a girl and her boyfriend noticed and confronted him. This gentleman was not happy and got very confrontational, demanding to see his camera roll immediately. And that's when they confirmed that he was taking pictures of random girls and was forced to delete them. Let's have a look. Embarrass you. I want to embarrass you. Now go ahead and delete it. Delete it in front of me right now. Go ahead. Don't take my. I'll stay right here. Let's go and show me what you took a picture of. I want to see it. I want to see right now what you took a picture of. Come on. Come on. There you go. Look, pictures of my girlfriend, right there. Boom. Yeah. Okay. I'm not shaking your hand. Oh, no. Yeah. You're just hanging out. Oh. Yeah. He'll look. Still don't want to. Who's there? We're adults here. Adults doing this? Are you kidding me? I should break this glass over your. Okay, so these customers had a problem with their order and they tried to speak to the manager at the drive-thru only to be in for a rude awakening when this manager was not having it that day and completely abused them. This manager completely lost his call at them and even said some really derogatory terms towards them. Let's have a look. You're on video. What's your name? I don't give a no video. This ain't the first time I've been on video. You just cussed at me and you're working. Why? 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 Alright, fat. What are you saying? What the Why? Oh, oh hell. Oh, hell no. Let's, uh-uh. Did you hell no. So you just called me a- You called someone a- You're a fat- Okay. We're, yeah, we're, 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 we're really fat. That's the thing, though. You can't do that. So I don't give you a- You can't do that. I don't give a- You can't do that. Nah, this you can't do that. So you need to get the out of here. Man, You're gonna lose your up. I hope you know that. I am give a- this on video and corporate's gonna see it. You hate it. The video. You're gonna- Your video. It's going all over- Mama, this entitled Karen went through this drive through illegally to wash her car and she didn't pay for the service and was told to leave. She then had a total meltdown refusing to reverse out of the area as she demanded a free car wash and wasn't willing to pay up for it. She then inconvenienced several other people as she tried to back up before getting out to abuse the gentleman once again until she got her way. Let's have a look. Go ahead. I'm videotaping you. You work at a car wash. You need to leave. I'm not trying to steal to leave. You need to leave, man. I'm That way. Have a blessed day, ma'am. I know. She needs to leave. She's trying to steal a wash. Are you kidding me? You need to leave, ma'am. I'm about to call the cops. You want to see your I'm about to call the cops, ma'am. Go ahead and call the cops. You're the Y'all need to back up. Y'all need to back up because she needs to get out of here. 
Okay, so this gentleman was walking past a phone store and he noticed that there was people literally robbing it. He decided to stop and record these thieves, which actually sent the thieves into a total meltdown when they came outside of the store to confront him. They told him to stop recording immediately and got confrontational with him, only for him to hold his own and refuse to leave. Let's have a look. Then. Get out of the shop then. Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright. Move your camera. What are you doing? Why are you walking the shop then? Bro, move your bro. Just what? go mind your own business. What do you mean? Swear don't don't worry about business. me, bro. What's he doing? Don't mind your business, don't worry bro. about me, bro. Swear don't. Don't rob the shop then. I'm telling you, bro. Don't don't move, the shop then. Bro. Oh, 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 what? Oh, nothing's gonna happen, but off there. Okay, so this lady was sitting at a gas pump and basically there was a lot of them free and available But this Karen pulled up and was determined to take the one that was being used Instead of just going to another available gas pump This Karen actually got out of her car and started recording this lady inside of her car This Karen then took it upon herself to get up close and personal with this complete stranger And start recording her and abusing her as well Let's have a look What? She's literally mad that I'm sitting at a gas pump. What is this Karen's problem? What is your problem? There's literally so many pumps open, dude. The f Literally, can you see that she's saying, I want that one? <laughs> like, what is she doing? I literally pumped gas and then was looking up directions on my phone. There were like four pumps open and she literally screamed, I want that one at me. What? That's a grown adult. After waiting in line at this Walmart, this gentleman noticed that this lady had pushed in front of him, so he tapped her on the shoulder to let her know that she cut the line. This customer then completely snapped at this other customer, demanding that he leave the store immediately and started screaming at everybody. Let's have a look. I didn't touch you, I man. Didn't Well, no one did that. It's okay. It's okay. Is this a prank? I can't. He won't go away. He You're needs to go away. He's a problem. I need to leave? No, no, Just no. Just no. we'll take it to the I still got, I still got, okay. We'll she threw some of my stuff. Okay. We'll just Where's she still? I oh, hell if I know. I'm so sorry. No, you're not, you're not sorry. Well, she wasn't sorry when she cut in line. Ew! I didn't see you! To make it. Oh, oh I just stuff. asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it worse. Let's just walk up I'm to you. I'm just talking. Walk up to you, sir. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Yeah. Walk with Chris. Yeah. Just, just to calm everything down. This woman had jumped into this prepaid and pre-booked taxi only to try to change the destination without paying extra. The woman that was in the taxi did not pay for this taxi and she wanted to go further than what had been paid for and this wasn't going to happen. The gentleman tried explaining this to this Karen who had a total meltdown and actually called up her friend so that they could both harass him. Let's have a look. Have you paid him anything? How did I book this cab? Have you paid him anything? How did I have you paid him anything? So how did you're, gonna, you're gonna text the company and they're gonna refund you the money. You haven't paid him anything. What company did we text? Ask who has booked it. Why are you talking to me like that? You, we booked you, so take No, you didn't book me. Send them a message and they're gonna refund you the money. I don't know why you're making a fuss about it. Are you, are you, what are you, are you, mom, is he stupid that I could have covered my face? Idiot, such a stinking mother, you stupid packing ground. Silly packing ground. This Karen couple rear-ended this student's car and then refused to take the blame. This Karen had obviously had too much to drink and shouldn't be driving, but instead of taking the blame for it, they doubled down and started abusing this victim who didn't do anything wrong. You can see the pure embarrassment from the husband's face as the wife makes things even worse. So let's have a look. Inside. We you, you've you been drinking? Have you been at the game drinking? No, I no. said we we're getting No, you drink. said you've been drinking. You. This is white entitlement right here. I need your insurance, please. I'm giving you my insurance. I need your insurance. Thank you. Thank you for yep. being respectful. Okay. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm trying. Yeah, you. Sp okay. Or Indian or whatever. 
I'm not Indian. You don't belong in America. I don't belong in America. Are you videoing? Yes, I am. I will be getting your license plate. I am videoing you. I guarantee you will probably lose whatever job you have for this. I'm sorry. You know what? You, you should. Sh sh wow. You should. I mean, dude, I'm sorry. You have to. You have to witness this. This is. This is your own wife. I'm sorry for that. This Karen customer completely lost her cool inside of this Wendy's as she claimed she was waiting 25 minutes for a burger and wanted it there and then. She then got into a heated argument with another customer face to face before finding herself in an argument with the manager who quickly shut her down and put her in her place. Let's have a look. This Karen was having some serious road rage when she was so entitled that she actually slammed on her brakes in the middle of the road, meaning everybody behind her had to brake as well so that she could get out of her car and confront the driver behind her. She ended up having a total meltdown at him because she didn't agree with the way that he was driving and she inconvenienced tens of people so that she could abuse this gentleman. Let's have a look. Okay, so this lady lives in a very small apartment complex and basically somebody who lives next to her is constantly outside of her door ranting on about his very offensive beliefs to quite literally nobody. He's just talking to himself in the hallway and everybody who lives in this apartment complex can hear him. Let's have a look. Uh, notice is back up on my door. Do you oh, ever shut the up? When ever I shut the up in front of my door with your Sorry. I don't give a f your f ass. F yeah, that's what I. I'm okay. Your f neighbors are Asians. Right, so they have to leave me alone. Shut the f up. You don't get. You Shut the f yeah. up. You okay. Your life. Shut the f up. You way. are so f irritating. Yeah. Every f day uh, you are you this are. Asians that yeah. I'm black. They're Asians. Right. Shut right. the. I'm tired of your in front of my door. I'm tired of your boy. Okay, so this Karen was spotted stealing political signs from people's yards, which is obviously illegal as it's their signs on their property. So this Karen had to trespass and take their property in order to steal it. This Karen was caught and exposed red-handed when she tried to profusely apologize and hide her license plate. Let's have a look. For coming in our neighborhood, pulling our signs. You come in our neighborhood pulling off our signs. Please, please, please. Do not touch my and car. then she has. Do not touch my car. And then she have her tag. Then she have her tag please covered don't up. Touch my car. Then she have her tag Sir, covered I'm up. I'm asking you to please let me go. Please let me go. I need some help. Sir, I'm really sorry. You're sorry for what? I did leave the. I did leave the tag. I did leave it. Can you go put it back? Yes, I will. Can you go put it back? I promise I will. Cause I'm getting ready to call the police. I'll go put it back. You're from Hillsborough County yes. and you're coming in here destroying the neighborhood I that I grew up it. in. You're coming in here and you're destructing the neighborhood that I grew up it in. Said, it said flush 
Trump. That's freedom of it, street. It, it says flush the turd. That's freedom it, of speech. It's disrespecting the current president. That's sir. freedom of speech. This Karen just caused a car accident when she entered somebody else's lane and hit their car. She then had a total meltdown at the other people, stating that it was actually their fault and that she was hurt because of them, despite her being the one who crashed into their car. She then had a total meltdown playing the victim and demanded that they pay for the damages done to her car. Let's have a look. My chances of my f***ing marathon, you're really gonna pay! Really gonna pay! Man, with all due respect, you're in my lane. I should be waving up turns the ball. We were first. You jack. I was in that lane first, and you hit me. I was changing lanes. Fucking sick. I was in my lane. You put a jackson line and proceeded this lane. You proceeded to hit him. You're complete. One hundred percent ample. If you're fucking recording this, yo, because you're gonna pay. I asked you nicely to stop multiple. No. Okay, so this lady had called earlier trying to get some meat and she was put on hold. For this reason, she rushed down to the store and started abusing the employees. This lady was extremely arrogant and belligerent towards these employees and abused them all because she was put on hold. This Karen then realized she was being recorded and turned her focus on the recordee before bending over and giving her something to record. Let's have a look. I, I tried to tell you to be about it. You hour. tried. You it's tried to intimidate me from the minute I walked in here. Uh, it doesn't uh, take an hour and a half to get some meat and a hamburger. Ma'am, that wasn't your. No, I'm not lying. That's why I call it exit spells. I'm gonna have to ask you to get the hotel right now. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you to get the hotel right now. I'm recording you, just so you know. Go ahead. Cause this, you should be humiliated. I'd hate to be your husband. Right here. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Record that right there. I am. Go if ahead. you call the police, call the police. No. If you touch me, I'm calling the police. Call the police. Touch call him. Call him. You need help. For what? Get out. Go away, you weirdo. I ain't a weirdo. You're a weirdo with a phone. Yeah. I'm afraid you're gonna hit somebody. Poor man. You should have heard him on the phone. This neighborly dispute happened when this Karen started throwing out all of these offensive terms towards her neighbor for literally no reason. It wasn't long before this enraged Karen trespassed onto their property to then try to attack them as well as continue abusing them among other things. This nightmare from hell refused to get off their property and it's not the first time this has happened. Let's have a look. You cross the street, you cross the street, you will see, I will hit you. Yeah, I will hit you. Hit Please go, hit go, me. don't, don't cross. Hey, come on, come, come on. You come over, come cross it. You come over here, come. You come. And look what you produced. You produced Abraham, and I'm gonna kill Abraham. He likes boys. Abraham please, boys. please, can you go to your property, Abraham please? Likes please, boys. please, please, go, go to your property. I'll go down to the bus stop and embarrass. Yeah, I'm we gonna, know you miss him. You want to hit him on the no, with the I'm car gonna, too? I'm gonna embarrass him in front of those guys. I'm gonna tell those guys. Okay, so this customer ordered a sandwich and he was asked if he wanted to leave a tip. This was enough to set this Karen right off when he took out his camera and started recording and abusing these employees. The employees tried to de-escalate the situation for minutes, but he wasn't going to leave and wanted to continue throwing wild accusations at these employees and giving them a hard time. So let's have a look. Bro, I did four years in the Marines. Get the f out. Get the f out, lover of liberty. Go. Go. It's the f moment. Here. Right. Dog. 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 Please. They won't deny it. Dude. Who have I killed? Who have I killed? Dude, go away, dude. Okay, okay. You are ridiculous, man. You, you, are, you don't know how old you are. You don't know anything about us at all. Dog, go but away. you know everything about me. That's dude. why you're going to nope. kill me. No, we actually dude. haven't said anything. 
this, Karen was driving very dangerously and recklessly when she was flagged down by this other driver. This other driver tried to let her know that she shouldn't drive like that, but this Karen had a total meltdown when she tried to yell her point across. This Karen tried to state why she was speeding and driving erratically. Let's have a look. Go toward you. You think that I'm striking. You're going to go down to the police no, and say, she beat me about the face because she pointed at me. Do you take meds? Maybe Does she take meds? She's fine. She's staying calm. You're yelling. You're parked Are in the middle of the road. She won't. Let she me is speak. listening. My husband is home being very sick. And I needed to make an I needed to make an errand and I needed to make it quickly. So then you will go if you're from Pomfret, you won't listen to me, I'm sure. I'm from Barner. If you're from Pomfret, you know well My family is from Pomfret. I don't give a shit. if your great grandfather was Ethan Allen. Would you listen? No, my aunt's uncle was Ethan Allen. Great great uncle. Really was. <laughs> she must really be a good friend because she's heard everything you said. No, no, she really she never, is. Did she ever shut up? She, you're the only one talking. No, she won't let me talk. She, I'm, I'm trying, trying to talk. tell you about my husband and why I was doing what I was doing. Number one, that is my That's normal no speed. Reason to run over somebody. You're normal. Okay, so this Karen's mother was looking after his child. Now, the mother had been pulled over and detained for drinking and driving, and the authorities had to call the father of the child for him to come and pick up the child. Now, the father showed up to the scene and tried to get his child. Let's have a look. Good afternoon. That's mine. I'm taking him home. Okay, he that's my That's my boy. Okay. All right. I don't even have to do that. We both know that. I don't know who you are. That's all right. But well, he does, and she does. I don't have to give you anything. I haven't. I, what crime have I committed? Listen, no, nope. Haven't. Nope. I haven't done anything. I need you to give me my child, and we're leaving now. And if you don't give me my child, I'll call the news. I'll call everybody here. Get him out of the vehicle, and he's leaving with me now. Nope, we don't have any seconds. It's time for ID. me to go. I see your last name on your ID, so I nope, I don't have to do that. Okay, how am I supposed to hand over a child to somebody that Gio, I'm am I your dad? Say that plea out loud. Am I your dad? This All right. You, Thank you. Elena, Let, is this his father? Let's go. It is? Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay, so this random person was in their car and was parked outside of a random person's home. That's when this Karen who owns the home comes outside and demands that they leave and move their car immediately. This situation escalates quickly when this Karen tells him to go back to his own country or because this person was literally parked on public property on the road. Let's have a look. What? Who in the f*** are you anyway? Uh, it's none of your business. Get off your god phone. No, man. Get off your god phone. Are you my mom? Bro, this is public this is public property. This, this belongs to property. the city. This belongs to the city. Get the over here! Yo, get the out of here. Get out of here! You get out of here. Go back into your house. How dare you? Go back into your house. Shut your god house. No. Yo, get the hell out of here. No. I like I like parking I this specific here. spot. M me too! Shut your god What did I do to you? Shut up! You threatening me? <laughs> you shut up! You shut up. Nobody's threatening you. You're polluting my street? I'm polluting your street. You should just I'll go back into you. your house. Polluting your street? Since when did the street belong to you? Okay, so this Karen was actually caught stealing from this family business and in retaliation she tried to assault the store owners. The Karen was not only just caught stealing but she was also an anti-masker who refused to wear a mask in the store that she stole from. After this Karen had been caught stealing she started breaking down and crying and pleading with the store owners that she was going to pay for the items that she was caught stealing. Let's have a look. <laughs> Why are you fighting like a thief? No, I'm not. Yeah, we are. Like, we caught you stealing from a family business, you thief. Put your mask on, thief. Don't put your mask on. Don't start. Don't. You ain't going anywhere. You ain't going anywhere, thief. Uh, not that I can see. Yeah, I'm crying out because you're caught. You're on probation, aren't you? No, I'm not. So what are you so upset about? Is there a warrant for arrest? Yes, sir. No, I was going to pay for it. my God. She yeah. might have more merchandise in her bag. Make sure the cops check her bag for more merchandise. I'm going to pay for it. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yeah, I have, I have a, a restitution. I have a refund. 
I have a coupon. So you're going to sit on here. This male Karen had a total meltdown at these random ladies who were in the pool together. This male Karen was playing neighborhood watch and demanded to see proof that they lived in the complex, otherwise he wasn't going to let them swim around. It obviously is none of this male Karen's business, so they didn't provide any proof to him, which only sent him into a bigger meltdown. Let's have a look. I've had enough of your and your I'm tired of you hey, people breaking the rules. say no cussing. Please don't cuss me. You can't cuss in the pool area. There's it been no kids cussing. jumping in the pool this entire time. And also says you have to have proper there. swimmer, Ron. Also says you can't be here past 10 o'clock. Get out! It says you, have to, you can't be here past 10 o'clock, and I see you and your family up here all the time past I manage this pool, and I keep things clean here, and I Please. fix things, and get out! You can't follow your own rules? Get out! I'll wait for the police to escort me out. If, I'm sorry. <laughs> Because I'd like to talk to them as well for the way that you're treating me. You're being a belligerent little child and I have asked you to leave. You're being a harassing old man. You are harassing me for swimming at the pool. You're violating the rules. So are you. You can't cuss. You have to be wearing proper swimwear. You can't be here past 10 o'clock. Turn that phone off. No. Why? Because you want to disrespect me? You want people you're to know? You're disrespecting me by arguing with me about the rules. You're screaming in we my face. We have rules to follow Sir, around here. you are screaming in my face. This contractor was trying to leave this complex and this male Karen in front of him stopped his vehicle and demanded his information. The gentleman stated that he was literally trying to leave the complex after completing some work and to leave the complex he has to call the customer to open the gate for him. The male Karen does not buy this story at all and literally holds him hostage until he provides proof of who he is. Let's have a look. Through here. I know that and I'm waiting for you to move so I can call my customer so I can get out, sir. Who so blocking the gate, gate does not help me. Who do you so for? can you move your vehicle so I can call the customer so I can get Who out? You call him. You don't need to be out to call So him. can you go, please, so the gate I can't. can... No, I'm only allowed to... If let... you're going to block me, I will call the cops. I hope you do. That's who If I'm you're blocking call. me, I will call the cops. Here's you are illegally blocking me at this time. I can't move my car. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck? You're not allowed you to just drove through, through here. Gate without a permit. I'm waiting for you to move so the gate can start closing so I can call my customer like I just said. You if you do not customer. if Listen you do me. not move your vehicle, I will call the cops. Call them. All right. Done. Call Simple them. as that. I got your picture, I got and your plate number. You I'm calling the cops. Okay, so this lady was just walking around when she ran into this Karen who was really upset at her for literally no reason. Now, this Karen was walking his dog, but instead of minding his own business, he came up to this random lady and just simply started harassing her. This lady was taken back and asked several times what she did wrong. Let's have a look. Hey. I recommend you just five, two steps away. You got me up against the car right now? Uh, you, you, uh, are you up against the car? I'm sorry. Are you up against the car? Do you see him harassing me right now? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> no one's no one's gonna pay attention to you. You're okay. you're you because you're dumb and you're you're a stupid uh blue Asian haired girl. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Are you okay? You. What? I was just, I was literally just standing. You know, hey, I, I can record you, 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 you dumb I can record you, too. I can record you. Hey, you, you, you see how stupid you are? Okay, so this lady had ordered some food through Deliveroo, and instead of coming down to get it as the weather was quite cold, she demanded that the gentleman bring it up to her. The delivery driver refused to come upstairs though and wanted her to come downstairs, which brought them to an awkward standstill between each other, and that's when the gentleman decided to open up her food and literally eat it and throw it around the parking lot. Let's have a look. No, because I need my food upstairs. I ordered it. I'm not going up. I'm not going downstairs, darling. No, I'm not going downstairs. No, but bring, bring my food up. What's wrong with you, man? Come on, collect it. You've got your donut kebab and your, your, your nuggets. Please come and collect. Yeah, but I told you that I am hey, cold. You are the delivery driver. Can you just come and collect the food? You are the delivery yeah, driver. You just come and collect your food. I'm not coming, I'm not coming there. I'm you are the delivery driver. Are you stupid? Are you talking? Are you talking? 
Yeah, go on. Go on, I'm recording. Go on, try eat my food. Go on, go on. Big man from delivery. Yeah, go on, eat my food then. Stupid man. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, eat that. Yeah, I'm zooming on your face. Yeah. Eat. Wow. You mother. I hope you get fired. Oh yeah. This woman entered this bakery and she had an agenda she wanted to push because upon entry she was asked to leave because she wasn't following the store rules. She refused to follow those rules and just wanted to give this employee a hard time when she started comparing following the rules to some of the worst things in history. This Karen then realized that she wasn't going to get her away and attempted to put this employee under a citizen's arrest which obviously failed miserably. Let's have a look. I don't. I don't wear a mask. You're not serving people. That's discrimination. Do you want to discriminate? It's just the policy. Well, is it a law? Should we call the sheriff and ask him to explain the law? My manager told me that. Well, then let's call law enforcement because this is a problem. This is not a law, and I am under no obligation to wear a mask. I'm sorry. It's just what my manager told us. So in Germany, when your manager told you to like shove people in the ovens, you would do that, I guess. I'm asking a real question. You have ovens, don't you? Yeah. Okay, well I will stand here until the law enforcement comes. Because I'd like to make a citizen's arrest of you. This is discrimination. Okay, so this Karen was inside of her drive through and she wasn't happy with her tender meal order, so she decided to get out of her car, hold the entire line up so that she could scream and abuse at the staff member who took her order. This Karen then even told them to come outside so that she could get into a fight with them and thought that this was appropriate behavior because her meal was mixed up. Let's have a look. Get back, get out. Get out. All she had to do was pass them. She wanted two tender meals. If we got five on our meal, the fourth one will catch a more Okay, so I believe these two groups live next to a golf course and while they were golfing they were confronted by this Karen. This Karen had a problem with the speaker they had with them that was playing music because apparently it's too loud and is disturbing this Karen and inconveniencing her. That's when they flip the switch though and throw it back on her because she has kids who party and play music until early hours of the morning. So, uh, I'm not getting into this with you. You don't play your music on a golf course like that. Ignore him. He's being nice. He's great. Yeah, he's You're being right. nice. Right. Okay, yeah, exactly. Right. A little bit, a little bit. I know, but it's like... It's and I don't call people. Because nobody else says anything. I guess maybe it's her. I guess maybe she calls her. I'm not saying a word. All I'm saying is that... Don't say it to me. Say it to my face. Are you kidding me? Just follow me. Don't care. Don, you know me. Do you have something to say to me? I mentioned it. I have many things to say to you. There's 300 homes on the golf course, and you're the only one that calls. Tell me why no other house calls them. I, that's not You waste his time. Wait five minutes and we're gone. Wait, Wait five, five minutes. minutes and we're gone. We hear your TV going. We hear people dancing in their backyard. You never hear my what TV I, what going. I hear it all the time. What I, you watch Real Force when you're there at 430. I see it. I see it. You go vowel. Buy a vowel. That's all I hear at 330. Okay, case, so this Karen was driving around the neighborhood on a golf buggy because she was playing neighborhood watch. Now, she accused this gentleman walking his dog that he did not pick up his dog waist, and that's when they got into an argument because he believes that he did. This Karen started yelling and swearing at this gentleman over the matter, and because the gentleman believes that he was in the right and did pick up the dog waist. Let's have a look. Do you understand? You can go. You can go. Do I need to tell you to f off? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. okay. Okay, grind oh, face. The cops got if I you think. Don't like well, me, I mean, call him. Okay. Mother. Karen. You call him. You can call me Karen if you want to. I just did. Get me on video. Well, good. 
Uh, you, How many times do I have to tell you to off? That's the second time. Okay, Mary. good. And okay. I told you a third one, and you still keep hounding me. Oh, you. you. Call the cops. <laughs> call the <laughs> cops. Call the property manager. Are management. you done? Why are don't you, you call? Are you now? done? <laughs> are you done? Call them now. Are you done? No, I'm not. Are you done? I'm waiting you on you, man. For I, no, no, it's been a reason. Okay, I, no, it's not. Yeah. How many times do I see people out here walking their dog, not picking up their dog? They live here. Okay, so this family were moving their furniture into their home when this Karen came out of hers to confront them. This Karen wasn't happy at what hour they were moving their furniture and believes that it's illegal to move furniture at this hour and for this reason was going to call the authorities on them. When this family put this Karen in her place, she actually had a total meltdown. Let's have a look. You're moving because it's illegal at this hour. Please record your moving furniture. Record your man. Record your man moving furniture. Hang on, I'm gonna get my camera to record you and your robe. Good. Go ahead. But you've been screaming since what time? Have we? You just moved in. You're the one screaming right now. You just making moved a scene. in. Who's the one screaming making a scene? Yeah, you're the one you that had the police. The making a scene, oh, dude. Right there. That's right there. I'm gonna find out where you work, and you're gonna lose your job for I saying work, that. Maybe I get paid by the government. Yeah. You can't say that word. Really, <laughs> dude? You're a honey. Oh my God. Do you think because you're not brown, you're not? wrong with you um waking me up at four no i'm sorry 3 30. Yeah. hang on i got a phone too bad i'm gonna use them to call the cop good call them are you getting in your car drunk bro or are you just high on meth high on meth that's you you're the one with no teeth Okay, so this lady was exercising and stretching on the stairwell when this Karen came up to her and told her to leave immediately. This Karen explained that she should not be working out in public and should go to a gym if she wants to exercise before telling this completely random lady to go back to her own country. This entitled Karen didn't want this stairwell that wasn't even hers, by the way, to be used by a random person. So let's have a look. You're gonna get kicked by my family. They're gonna f you up. What did That's I do? Right. They're gonna f you Why? up. Why? What did I do? Because you are. So look at the whole stairs to yourself. You had these Why don't you and go somewhere stairs? else where you can go to a gym? This is not just for you. Oh, you Get need the to... out of this world. Get the out of this state. Go back to whatever Asian country you belong in. Okay, Ray. This is not your place. This is not your home. We do not want you here. Ooh. You put that on Facebook. I hope you do. Because every person will beat the out of you from here on out. Don't you ever say, oh, Jesus, to me when I want to use the stairs, you little There's other stairs. You are a sick, ignorant teenager. Oh, oh thank wait, you. Black, middle aged woman? <laughs> Who wears black in California sun? Who the wears black? Are you an idiot? These entitled customers decided that they didn't need to pay for the items that they were stealing before being recorded and chased outside. These thieves were so quick to leave the scene that they even forgot to remove the trolley from underneath their car before damaging their vehicle in an attempt to get away. Let's have a look. Call the cops. Get the, uh, a mail with a big box. This Karen had some serious road rage when she cut off this other driver. She then ran up to the vehicle only to kick and punch it, damaging the vehicle, and then fled the scene, meaning there was no insurance information exchanged. This victim then ran over to this Karen to try and get some information from her, only for this Karen to try to drive over her in an attempt to flee the scene. Let's have a look. See? Are you serious? Okay. Are you I have your license plate number and I'm calling the cops and 
you. This guy was being a jerk to somebody who was on the shore taking pictures of the water. He decided to walk up to this random person and push them into the lake while they were equipped with their camera gear. This obviously ruined all of their camera gear and this gentleman had some instant regret when he was followed back and realized that the authorities were going to be called and he was going to be made to pay for the damage he had caused. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. This has cost about three thousand pounds. I paid for it. And you've just done that to me. I thought you were my sister. Oh my god. Sorry. That is nasty. Right, let's go on film. That is nasty. Got you on film. Report it to the police. Yeah. For what? Pushing her in the water. We saw it. Yeah, we saw it. That's not the point. No, this I'm sorry. Now you stay here, and I'll. I'll Can we get your name? Get your name. Yeah. It's disgusting. Just call the police. Call the police. For what? We saw you do it. I'm sorry. It's criminal damage. You're going to go to jail, mate. It's Simple as that. And you as well. For nothing, nothing, nothing to me. Not it on film. I ain't done nothing. Okay, so a lot of people were together at this beach watching the sunset when somebody came over it in their car and decided to park in between everybody. She continued running her car because she wanted the air conditioning on, which obviously made a lot of noise and blew a lot of fumes at the people. Somebody decided to come over and confront her for this and tell her to turn the car off, which really triggered this lady when she refused to do so. Let's have a look. Me goes to the beach to see sunset. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave. Random man keeps knocking on my window for five minutes. So this random dude is just doing that for no reason. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. I don't have to turn my car off. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. You're gassing everybody out. You're I'm done with you anyway. I don't have to turn off my car. You're gassing everybody I don't have to out. turn off my car. Little winch. How am I selfish? I have my child in my car. I can't I turn care. off my car. I need my AC because I have a baby in my car. Yes, it is. Okay, so this Karen was asked to follow the rules of this restaurant several times and refused to comply. By the time she had followed the rules, it was too little too late and she was denied service. This Karen had already paid for her food, but she was offered a refund. But as this Karen was too busy abusing and belittling the employees, she forgot to just take her money and leave or go someplace else and ended up in this huge altercation. Let's have a look. What's he gonna do though? Well, the police Isn't are coming. Video you good? What going? that video do? What that video do? What that video do though? I give you your money back. What do that video do? I, I paid for my food. I gave you your money back. Money back. I already gave you your money back. As you can see right here. Girl, you so little stupid. Money with your little scare. Okay, well you're gonna leave or the I'm gonna make you leave. Okay, then they're coming. I just stand up and tell them how to take you to make sure you get fired. That's great. You do that. You broke bond. In the Both of you need to step outside until you have a mask on, okay? Girl, I got my mask on. I'm not talking to you. Now, she want to buy somebody else. She want to buy the other people now. She ruled it. She ruled it. I'll give you a minute. Crazy city battle is. She's going to talk about some weed to stand outside because we got to order in food, but everybody in it is standing in it. 
This Karen got her nails done and she decided that she didn't like it at the end and decided not to pay for it. She then had the temerity on her to call back several times for them to fix her nails for free that she didn't originally pay for but still thought it was their right to fix her problems. Have a look. Wait, you gonna fix it? Somebody's gonna fix it. Somebody is gonna fix it. Okay, well it's gonna get fixed. I'm tired of this. I was the one who spent my money. My money. Okay, so this Karen has a problem with an apple tree next door. She claims that the people next door are taking bites out of apples and throwing them on her lawn, which they are not, as this homeowner claims that it's just squirrels taking apples and dropping it on Karen's property. This Karen is upset because of an overhanging tree and demands that they fix it immediately. This Karen actually has a really entitled attitude as well, and when she doesn't get her way, she actually tells them to go back to Vietnam. Have a look. I need to know about the reptiles tree as well. Their tree is way over there, you pet slime. Are you cutting theirs too? Well, I didn't give a I thing just took pictures. We don't give you problems either. But... Well, you do. Look, look, look. I mean, I'm saying that my mom was fine. But no, she know. hasn't. Last year, she was biting apples and throwing them in our yard. Oh, she's biting apples? No, it was the, the squirrels. No. You know the squirrels that come... There were people bites, honestly. A squirrel doesn't fly an apple over the fence. I guess it do. Okay. Not, no, it's your mother. No, she does not. She does Your not mother that. is psycho. Oh, she's psycho. Look at you. I yeah, mean, think now, about it. I'm going to file a lawsuit. Go ahead. File a lawsuit. Shut and, up. No, no, no. Don't, you, you tell me to shut up, lady. Just go back to where you're at. Right. And then you come when your husband come and when the cops come. Then you can come over Please here to our party. property but and talk. I don't want to share that book. I need to go back to Vietnam. Oh, thank oh, you. Really? Oh, hey. right, right. Very nice, that, lady. That is discrimination. That's very this very aggressive Karen had way too much to drink and tried to get on the bus with a bunch of other people, which wasn't going to happen when upon entry she decided to start abusing everybody and telling them to go back to their own country. The problem here though is this Karen was actually traveling abroad and she was in China at the time and she was telling Chinese residents to go back to their own country while they were in their country. Let's have a look. You want that? Hey, you know what? You're drunk. You know what, mother? Excuse me? Excuse me? Call them right now. Call them now and find out. They're not allowed here. You're Yeah? You know what? You're gonna be. You can ask your opinion because I'm not helping. No, you only see your video. Tell me. You and me. My girls and you know what? I bet she loves to make friends with you because she's a loving creature and you're not. But why don't you go back to China where you grew up? You're in China. I just said go back to China where you're you in China. Sorry. You're in but China. I'm in Hong Kong. You're in but China. I asked your opinion. Goodbye. No, I didn't ask your opinion. Are things off? Yeah. Okay, so this Karen was at a skate park and she was harassing some skateboarders for no reason. That's when a random person came up behind her with a jug of water and poured it all over her head. You can only imagine how embarrassed she was, but it didn't end there. That's when this Karen chased after the gentleman who poured water over her head and slipped and fell down because she was wet. Let's have a look. I mean, like I mean, you call the cops. Oh, like, no, you no, 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 no,
Thank you. Take her away, boys. Take her away. This neighborhood Karen was honked at and for this reason thought that that justified them having a total meltdown and confronting the honky. That's when this Karen got confrontational and face to face with them and even tried fighting them over it all because they were honked at. Let's have a look. I'm sorry, this is my mother. And your mother's acting like a bitch, okay? Okay. So how about that? And you need to stop recording me because the more you record me, I'll record her. I'm sorry, I'm just a little concerned because- I'm a little concerned too because she's honking at me. How does she like to be honked at? Exactly, thank you very much. I don't know what happened. You don't even know what happened, but she can tell you what happened. All and right. it was just a split second when I looked down, I wasn't even on my phone. Okay, but I'm sorry. But her honking at me like maybe, a grown woman. Maybe she's older than me and wants to ride maybe my- Maybe there was a miscommunication lady. I don't give a I guess it won't be hard to figure out where you live at. This gentleman was in the supermarket with his daughter when he noticed that a random person was actually taking pictures of them. He came over and confronted them only for this random male Karen to run away and try to leave the store. He was then exposed for taking pictures of them and confronted for it, which he justified by saying that these two were not following the store rules and he wanted to expose them for it. Let's have a look. Hey guy, hey guy, tell me why you were taking pictures of me and my daughter. Excuse me. Why were you taking pictures of me and my daughter? I want to know. Please tell me. Just tell me and I'll leave you alone. So I can stay alive. Tell me and I'll leave you alone. Why were you taking pictures of my daughter? Tell me with your six masks. Can you just tell me? So I can stay alive, please. So you can stay alive? That's why you're taking pictures of my daughter? Can you please? He was taking pictures of me and my daughter. Can no, I because you, 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 were, you felt brave taking pictures, but now you want to run. Tell me. Yeah, you look scared now, huh? No, I yeah, you're real brave now, aren't you? No, I'm... Oh, you're real brave with your 90 masks okay. on. Sorry about that. Here he is, everybody. Here's the man that took a picture of my daughter because he said he was scared. So you think it's okay to take pictures of my little girl? You think that's acceptable behavior, sir? Sir, leave me alone, please. You don't, you don't have to worry. I'm not going to do anything stupid. Well, I appreciate First that. I yes, yes. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, my mother. Can I take a second out? 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 Okay, so this gentleman was trying to check out at this grocery store and upon checkout he was actually denied service and asked to leave the premise. The reason being is that apparently he was banned from the store which he doesn't agree with and believes that there must be some mix up as he hasn't done anything wrong. The lady then admits that she hasn't actually met this gentleman before but was told beforehand that he was banned from the store and to not serve him. Let's have a look. You're not allowed in here. Do not. Serve you. Oh, hey, how you doing honest. today? I'm good. Hey, I just came in. I got I a food stamp. Look, Dorian. Okay, it don't matter. You, they, they told me that. All right. right. The cops was here. here. Even when you called the cops, the cops here. told you, you're not allowed in here. Out. I'm just standing here. I have not done anything. I don't. I, that's not my problem. I was told to that do. you're not allowed in here. Call the cops. The cops are ready to do it. Out. Now. I'm a loyal customer. I don't Can know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I, I have not done anything to you. I do not know you. I don't okay. care if you know so, me or not. I, was I haven't told done anything to you. I haven't done now anything to nobody. I don't know what happened. So, All I know is they told us that you're not allowed. I don't know where that came from. I don't see no writing. 
I have not done anything. I don't know who she is or why she she's doing this. She's the store manager. I don't know why. But I can't do it. No. I don't know why. Look, I'm just going to record this and put you on blast because this and call corporate. Call corporate. That's I what I'm going to do. You're not well, here. I don't know where you heard that from. Uh, do you have a reason why? There's no reason I why. Was, my, my head I'm boss sorry. told me you're not allowed to do this. This is the devil, right, y'all? Okay, so this incredibly offensive Karen was walking around this park and harassing this mother's children because she profiled them and didn't want them to be there. That was when the mother of the children overheard the conversation and confronted this Karen and completely put her in her place. This Karen was humiliated when this mother followed her around, defending her children and letting everybody in the park know what was going on. This Karen continued on her tirade though and was an incredibly offensive person, so let's have a look. Yeah, okay. and I'll have calls CPS. Can you just hear him say, that? hey, black Get people? Out of my face. Your kids just you say, hey, say, black people, people in front of us. Get out of my face. Yes. Hey, hey, call the cops. Call, call, call them. What are you going to call them for? You want, yeah, you want the Get phone? out of my face. What are you going to call You want the phone? Call them. Your boys need to stop calling my kids black people and turds in the toilet. Teach them manners. I'm going to protect my kids. I'm going to protect my kids. Teach your kids not to talk to black people any kind of way. I'm not in your face. I'm telling you to correct your children because I'm protecting mine as well. Yeah, and I'll have call CPS. Call CPS. Call CPS. Call CPS. Call CPS. Your kids. Are so are you. Correct them. Teach them how to act in public. Cause it, ever since we walked, ever since we walked up, please take them home. As soon as we walked up, you guys be calling us turds. You tell your kids to have respect. Turds in the toilet. Hey, black people. Hey, black people. We're black and we're proud, and we love it. We're black and proud. Tell your children that. Okay, so at this political party, this Karen decided who can and cannot be invited into the room. That's when this Karen stopped this lady dead in her tracks and told her to leave immediately or because of her ethnicity. This Karen claimed that because of her religion, it wasn't possible that they could share the same views and for this reason wanted this completely random lady out of her sight immediately, even though she had just as much right to be there as this Karen. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm I'm not supposed to, supposed to be in this party. Oh, really? No. Why not? Just listen a minute and I'll tell you after my 50 year pen. The reason why is because they do not believe in God. I do believe in God. But they do not. As a race, it's a, it's a thought process. They have their own God, which, which Jefferson did not recognize. Ma'am? When he did the Constitution. And so you don't have the right history background to be in the party. Sorry. I, I want her to. You know what? You can. You can. No. She's so right. serious. Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. I don't know. I'm yeah. real serious. No, I'm not going to engage any longer. Yeah, you guys have a great I'm day. About I'm going to pray for you. I do have God, and it is the same God. I don't think so. Okay. Well, okay. Thank well, you very much. I know that. I'm you're very conservative, and um, I appreciate. You even know me. I appreciate your. And I'm allowed to call the phone. You know, thank you for being You talked in my face. That was so ridiculous. I just caught you on film explaining what you did to me. I will talk. Thank you on your face. Okay, so this Karen was inside of a McDonald's and he was not happy with the weight required for his order. This Karen went up and started harassing the employees and pointing fingers, demanding to have his food immediately. When things didn't go his way, this Karen started abusing everybody and freaking out in the store. This Karen was recorded for his behavior and it wasn't long until the manager had to intervene and ask him to leave the premise. Let's have a look. I'm not leaving without my food. Okay, I'm sorry. What do you want a refund for? Chicken and Please. Cole! This is for you. I'm not going to have an employee hey, yelling hey, at me hey, from hey, your hey, kitchen hey, for no hey, reason. There's kids, yeah, there's kids in here. Don't be yelling, please. Please. There are kids in here. Just go on, go somewhere else. Chicken biscuits, what else? Oh. Right. We have a kid in here crying because he's scared that we're yelling. Could we just take it down a notch, please? But where's the chicken please. McGriddle on here? Thank you. Okay. okay. I don't okay, need buddy. breakfast, so. Alright, chicken McGriddle and what Sorry, else? I didn't mean to uh, it's too hot. I understand. I get it. Alright. Everybody can have that. I know. Well, you know, would you like a job and I can hire you? I'm sorry, I make money. I have a real job. What? He ain't gonna work here, Mom. Oh. <laughs> I make real money. Okay, well, 
587. Let's just stop. I'm just gonna see what I'm gonna do. What? <laughs> Okay, so this Karen was downstairs and she was demanding some toilet paper from this hotel that she was staying at. But while this Karen was at it, this Karen decided that she wanted to give the employee a hard time because due to the virus at the moment, this hotel does not offer everyday cleaning services for a long duration stays. But this Karen was demanding for daily cleaning services. Let's see how that goes for her. I, we can understand that you cannot deal with us. It's obvious that you don't have the capacity. Okay? <laughs> okay. You don't have, can, you, can you call somebody? Um, I will not call my manager on her day off. That's what managers are for, because you don't have management authority. Okay. But I have the have authority to stand authority. here and listen to what you're saying, so... Like, I don't know what you want from me. I'm not going to give you a refund because you still stayed here, so... We're not staying here, we're telling you. We're not staying in the darn room. Only a dirty person will stay in a nasty that wasn't without toilet paper i can give you toilet are paper you, are but... you really that low breed? are you really that low that you will stay I in already explain that we don't do daily servicing because of covid if you can't accept that that's too bad i don't know what you want me to do because i can't do nothing you really about it put toilet paper in the rooms and... i can give you toilet paper but i but can't no, do anything not, it's, else it's not my job for me to put, come and pick it up it's your job the hotel's job no okay? my job is to be front desk and listen to you complain at me so i'm doing my job unbelievable no, it's very okay. believable. No, it's not believable. It is a shame. I have never in my entire life been a comfort in. This manager at this fast food restaurant had an employee who had lost four of her friends in a car crash the night prior. The employee had asked for the day off to cope with the loss, which the manager flat out refused, stating that they were understaffed and made her come into work. A friend of this lady then came into the work and confronted him for it, where he completely put him in his place. Let's have a look. He couldn't come into work today because four of her friends died literally last night. Bro, this is my business. I don't know what to say. Yeah, but if four of your friends died, would you come into work today? I still have a business to run, but I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, but she's a six, 16 year old kid who four of her friends died and one's in a coma. She's never had to deal with any of this before. That seems a little up to me, does it not? Like I said to you, this is a business, man. Yeah, I don't give a no. if it's a business. This is no. My, my boss runs a business and he gave me the day off. Okay, good for your boss, bro. Like, it just seems up, you know? Like, that that's. Like, you, you can't be doing that. You, Why not? Because four friends die. Like, four of your friends die and one's in a coma. You're going to come into work. You're gonna, that's what you're telling me right now. For If you were a 16-year-old kid right now, four of your 16-year-old friends died. My girlfriend died. died, bro, and I was here pushing it because I know I have my bills. And this is my business. Yeah, but she's a 16-year-old kid. She's a she 16 She her mom call me. Me and, mom, me and her mom, we talk, out, we talk you know? But you fired her over the phone. She tried to explain to it to you, and you said, "Oh, I'm busy. Goodbye." Like I was on, like I heard it. I was I there. Busy. Yeah, but like, so, so you just give her the day off. Like that. That's be a decent human being for once in your life. Okay, so this landlady tried to evict this tenant illegally by showing up with power drills and trying to intimidate him out of her property. The problem here though is that this tenant has rights and it's also illegal for her to show up without notice and try to intimidate him out of the building. Let's have a look. Ma'am, we, we have to leave my house, ma'am, please. Ma'am, I'm asking you to please leave my house, ma'am, please. I can have the right. Ma'am, I do not feel safe and I'm asking you to please leave my house at this current... Ma'am, at this current moment of the Louisiana law, oh, you think I'm playing on, huh? under Louisiana law, ma'am, I'm asking you to please leave my house. I'm not playing. That's a Western right warning. Entry. That is the first warning. The I second warning, right ma'am, I'm finna go into my home and I'm finna shut my door. I have a right of entry. I'm finna go into my home and I'm finna shut my door. Right I'm out live. I'm finna go in my home and shut my door. Right of entry. On guard. Use it. If I shut my door and I think someone is attempting to break into my home with a drill. I'm right here. I will let, hey. I'm right here. Hey. You, you see, see what I'm huh? doing. I'm you see him, huh? Now I'm finna shut my door, y'all. Y'all see this, right? Y'all see this? I'm finna shut the door. Now when I come, when I come back out the door, now when I come back out the door, listen, I'm finna shut my door. When I come back out the door, now y'all see this? I have this right for, of entry. Mr. Police Officer, this is for you for when you pull Read up. Because police. she's finna call you in five seconds when I grab this. Finna grab. But listen, but listen, I'm finna go. I'm, no, no, this, not you, not you at all. I'm finna grab nothing for you. You finna wanna leave my house in a second before I grab what I grab. Please Get the help off my door. I'm not leaving. Leave. Leave because I do not feel safe. You finna leave. You gotta leave. You're not finna uh, take my door off. You cannot no, do it. What? Man, you cannot do that. Get from out of my house. You can smell it. Man, ma'am, you gotta leave. You cannot take nobody's door off their frame. That is illegal. Is you crazy? Not. Is you crazy? 
Yes, ma'am. I need some. I get it out. Yeah, you need one. You really need. This entitled Karen was checking out at a grocery store, and as she went to check out her items, she needed to use the bathroom. She then left her trolley and her items in between everybody to go and use the bathroom. And when she returned, her trolley had been moved so other people could check out. This entitled Karen believes everybody should have waited for her to return, even though nobody was being checked out because her cart was there. Let's have a look. Wait, 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 wait. She has a million items. She couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't. That's not how it works. That's not me. You want to take that? How are you going to resolve this? I mean, you just laugh? I can't hear you. My love, we're keeping it. You buy it. You can hear that's it. What? I'm not gonna let her go because that's just my line. Alright. Can you call this phone manager, please? Here's the phone manager. Unbelievable. Are you just letting two people that were behind me in front of me? I have to stay in line all over again? No, you told them to put the items and they're putting the items. My items are here, she's not letting me go. All you needed to do is tell her to let me go. You have another person there. I have to go this way. I'm no. not allowed to film. I could do whatever the I want. I don't know who told you that you could tell people what they can do. But that's not how it works. You're telling me what to do. Yeah, no education you this father was demanding that his daughter be put on this ride immediately, which they couldn't do as she wasn't tall enough for it. That wasn't good enough for him when he decided he would try to fight his way into having his daughter go on the ride, making all sorts of threats and accusations towards them, and given the ultimatum that unless his daughter got to go on the ride, he would end up taking them to the parking lot and fighting them. Let's have a look. Down below, the girl with the mole on her face. Believe me, this kid is going on this ride her, me, and you are going out in the yeah, parking lot. Right telling you right now. Three rides this kid has been denied. Three rides this kid has been denied. This kid is going on this ride, bro. This kid is going on this ride. Listen, you can do it your way or you can do it my way, bro. This kid has been denied. The girl with the mole on her face. You'll see. She is not riding. She's not tall enough. Yeah, guess I what? Guess She's what? Guess what? I'm going to make your life miserable right now, bro. Listen, you're messing with the wrong guy, bro. I'm telling you right now. See this kid? My eight-year-old daughter crying? You'll see. You'll get somebody up here. I will shut this down, bro. No, please do not shut it down. I'm shutting it down. This kid... I am not going to listen to my eight-year-old cry again. We went to the ride at the bottom, and they, she passed the thing. Otherwise, we would have not come out here. Otherwise, you go, you go, bro. You go. Take your chances, bro. Take your chances with this guy. You know, listen, it's your job. I get it. I'm shutting it down. Go ahead. This gentleman was at a dog park when he was confronted by a male Karen who wanted his identification. This male Karen wanted him to prove who he was and what he was doing in his neighborhood, to which the gentleman responded saying he would just leave and take his dog with him. This male Karen then tried to pull a citizen's arrest and refused to let this gentleman leave the dog park, illegally detaining him. Let's have a look. I'll call his own car. We can make this easy. You don't got to worry about it. I'm about to leave. No, you ain't leaving yet. Why can't I leave? Because I'm detaining you right now. For what? For criminal trespass because you don't you don't live here. So how's it criminal? I live right here. I can, no, no, I can you don't bring live my right dog. here. You don't live on this property. Oh. Okay, this is criminal trespass. You were over here the other day and you made some comments to some people because they made a comment about you beating your dog. I never beat my okay, dog. Okay, well I don't care about that because that didn't happen on our okay. property. Wait a minute, you're not leaving. Sir. I just said you're being detained right now. Probably. You did say I was being detained. Excuse me, sir. You're touching me. That's right. I'm Why are you touching me? You. You can't touch me. I'm detaining you right so now. Why are you detaining me? For criminal Excuse trespass. Me. You see this? Come on, Ziggy. Let's you're go. Not, you're not going anywhere right now. Yes, sir. I am, bro. So you can leave if you want to, but I'll just pick you up at the house. You can't pick me up in my house because I ain't did nothing wrong. Don't walk up you on can me back up on my face. That's no, what you, you can do. No, you walk up on me. Now, I'm going to tell you, we can do this. This ain't no You big bothering deal, me, sir. I didn't do nothing but this come over here with my dog deal. and bring my dog to the dog park. And this is criminal 
criminal trespass. Okay, well, I will leave. You said it's criminal trespass and I'm leaving. Why are you still harassing me talking about I can't leave? Why are you stopping because me I'm, from leaving? Because I'm detaining you. You can't detain me oh, if this I is my can. first time being here. You don't tell me what I can do, sir. We, if you just chill out for a little bit. No, 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 no. We're not doing none of that, bro. You're going to step away from me because I really feel unsafe. Okay, well, if you want to say you want Come here, Ziggy. But you're not going anywhere until... Uh, Okay, so this Karen was abusing the staff members when a bystander intervened. The gentleman told her to leave the store and she made a very derogatory remark towards him, which led to this altercation taken outside. This Karen actually tried to get into a physical fight with this gentleman who only told her not to abuse the employees. Bud was in for a big reality check when the gentleman didn't back down and agreed to the fight outside. Let's have a look. Well, after, hey, you're a, what are you going to do? I'm going going to to definitely going on YouTube. Bye, Guy monkey. Guy monkey. Oh. She called you a monkey, bro. Oh. Yeah, we know you're on crack. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Do something. Wait, what you got? Hit me. Go ahead. Do your best. Don't do it. Hit, hit your. I'm not a dude. Take your best. Do oh, something. You're in there starting exactly. fights with people. Out of here. Stop Peace doing out. crack. Stop yeah. doing crack. Nobody cares if you're a chick. Drink. Stop doing. Yeah, you're hell This group of friends went into the store and they weren't even interested in any of the items and because they were loitering, the store employees asked them to leave. They ended up profiling the employees and just giving them a hard time before they started recording themselves abusing them and they were inevitably asked to leave. Let's have a look. Hey, look at her big forehead and look at you. Yeah, get away well, with your viruses. Well educated people. Viruses. <laughs> viruses. Yeah, your face looks smushed in, you literal Chinese. Stop filming me. What are you filming the back of my head? You've already got my face. Bro, legit. <laughs> These gentlemen were working late at night inside of this van when a random person came over and started questioning what they were doing. It was obviously none of this random person's business so they didn't give him much attention and that's when he started pressing the issue further demanding their identification. The employee ended up just slamming the door in his face instead of responding to him so let's have a look. Oh, please show ID right now. Uh, if, if you got any questions or concerns our name is on the side of the door. Nope, I want to see identification from you now. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. But uh, but I'm a concerned citizen. I'm a concerned uh, neighbor. Okay. Okay, so, uh, you know. You know. This group of friends went into the store and they weren't even interested in any of the items and because they were loitering, the store employees asked them to leave. They ended up profiling the employees and just giving them a hard time before they started recording themselves abusing them and they were inevitably asked to leave. On their way out, they even spat on their tables, demanding that they clean up after them and just being pests in general. Let's have a look. Hey, look at her big forehead and look at you. Yeah. Get away with your viruses. Well educated people. Viruses. Viruses. Wow. Yeah, your face looks smushed in, you literal Chinese. Stop filming me. What are you filming the back of my head? You've already got my face. Bro, legit. Shut the f***ing that up. Okay, so this family was being harassed and followed by this Karen for literally no other reason than their nationality. This went on for quite some time where this Karen was literally just abusing them and following them until this other random family oversaw what was happening and intervened. That's when this Karen turned her attention to this completely random family and tried harassing them as well. Let's have a look.
You guys are alright. Can you stop Hey, he's there? they're alright. You guys are good, man. Yeah, you're you're alright, they're alright. No. Uh, There's no reason to follow them with the baby. They have a kid. No, you we were a grown woman. Go back to your corner. Are you done? Are you? Are you? Stay away from us. I will protect him at all costs. I need you to walk away. I will stay here. You I need you to walk away. Check out. <laughs> this male Karen was running around store to store, exposing himself and trying to run away. He wasn't expecting this woman to then chase him down, yelling and screaming for help and exposing him in front of everybody. This left this person humiliated when he realized he couldn't get away and was caught in the act. Let's have a look. Excuse me, turn around. What are you doing here, you pervert? I'm just shopping. What the f you show me your No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, you pervert. You pervert. Turn no, around. Why are you not turning around? You perfect. I saw you. Hey, this guy showing me his. This is the guy. Like, what the f? You really running away? Look at me, you pervert. Look at me, you pervert. I have you on my camera, you pervert. You show me your. I didn't do anything. Look at me. Why are you. What? You're afraid now? You're afraid now? You f***ing pervert. Don't let me see you again. I'll send you. I'll send this video to RCMP. You pervert. You pervert. Okay, so this Karen was driving very fast and recklessly through this parking lot when she hit a trolley that slid into a car door. A gentleman witnessed everything from his car and called this Karen out for it and started recording for evidence to give for insurance purposes. That was enough to set this Karen off when she confronted the gentleman. Let's have a look. You really got a problem? I mean, y'all are just crazy. You you ran through here mad fast and hit this shopping cart oh, into that yeah. other. This Norwich punk. This Norwich punk. I'm a Norwich punk. That's what you just said, yo. This lady right here hit this shopping cart in this spot into this other car right here. Look, boom! It's Maybe smashed. If you don't talk like a. F like a what? Oh my God, yo! I'm talking like a normal American. I'm so sorry. And this lady called me the N word. Oh my God. Oh, hold on. Here's her license plate. And here's the car that she hit with the shopping cart. Norwich is amazing. Oh my goodness. This Karen had ordered some pizza and basically they have a guarantee that if it is not delivered or given to the customer in a certain time frame, that the pizza shouldn't be paid for. This Karen believes that they maliciously stopped the timer in order to give her her pizza, meaning she still had to pay for it when she didn't believe that she had to. This sent this Karen into a total meltdown and this huge argument ensued. Let's have a look. The time that the pizza says ready on my pizza tracker. So if it doesn't come out to my car in two minutes, I get a free pizza. And we're asking you to please call corporate because we are extremely busy and we you have no control have, over that. You guys stopped the timer saying that you brought it to me already when you no, did it. We have to hit the timer before we leave the store. So what happens is when so you- So it, it took you two additional minutes to get out to my car to after you grab, hit the timer? To grab your sides and stuff or to check that we have everything. That's not how it works. Yes, that is how, well, that is exactly how it works. Tracker, that's not how it works. If this is gonna continue, we don't have time for this, we're gonna walk away and continue making pizzas, please. So please call. This entitled customer was refusing to leave the premise after he was denied service for being incredibly abusive and offensive to the employees. He refused to leave the premise though and then actually tried to call immigration on the workers, stating that he didn't think that they were in his country legally and wanted to get them in trouble. He then made a complete fool out of himself when you can tell that he's not actually on the phone to anybody and was just a terrible customer. Let's have a look. There's some wetbacks working here that are legal. Yes, sir. He's calling the sheriffs right now. Call the immigration. Yes, please. There's one, two, three ladies that don't have papers. Yes, sir. I swear to God, I'm an American citizen. I want to be in Nam, and I want you to know guerra. Yes, sir. I'm gonna wait outside. Call the immigration, please. He's calling the sheriffs. I'm calling the immigration. You suck my c**t. 
This group of friends actually got together and they had a big meal at a restaurant and when the bill arrived they actually sprung from their seats and fled without pain. This was an extremely pricey lunch so the restaurant wasn't too happy about the dine and dash but that was up until this group of friends had completely forgotten about their car keys, accessories and their wallets. Let's have a look. <laughs> Y'all went to the bathroom? Y'all went to the bathroom? Hold up. Trying to go sit in it? Y'all ready to pay these bills? Get him, shorty! Shut up! This Karen had actually stopped this gentleman and detained him, demanding information from him as well as his ID. The gentleman obviously wasn't going to give this to a random person and that's when this Karen states that she used to be the president of the homeowners association and thinks that he's up to no good. The gentleman then completely puts this Karen in her place for making up such an accusation about him. Let's have a look. Why do you don't think I live here? Because of the way I look? Because why? I, until two weeks ago. I was president of the Homeowners Association. Okay. And to my knowledge, I know everybody who lives here. Okay. That's the only So thing. why did you assume that I don't live here because you don't know me? Because there's only 42 buildings. Only 42 buildings. You knew every single person in 42 buildings? Where do you live? Huh? Do you know every single person in 42 buildings, ma'am? Thank you very much. I rest my case. Do me a favor. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stop with the fake laugh and just go. All right. It's not a fake laugh. I think it's Enjoy your day. Funny. I mean, we have this happen. Okay, so on July 4th, there was quite a lot of fireworks going off in this neighborhood and that was enough to set this Karen off. This Karen came out in her pajamas, screaming and yelling at everybody, demanding that everybody stops and goes home immediately. They obviously weren't going to listen to this Karen and waste their fireworks of the purchase, which left this Karen in a total meltdown as she screamed and pleaded with everybody. Let's have a look. This entitled shopper was pushing her trolley past a car when there wasn't enough room to get through. That didn't stop this entitled Karen from still pushing her trolley through and damaging this vehicle right in front of this gentleman's eyes, only for her to deny any wrongdoing and having a total meltdown over it as well. Let's have a look. Watch you. That's a five hundred dollar mirror. I didn't touch your friggin' mirror. Yes, you did. It no, was... I didn't. Okay. Ma'am, I sat and watched you. I I wouldn't. And you and you kept trying to push it past. No, I didn't. Ma'am, I watched you. I went like this. Back up. Back up, please. I'm standing by my car. I'm you, gonna back up. You, um, just, you just came up to me. I went like this. You just back came, up. You just walked up to me. I went up to here. Ma'am, you just took my mirror off with your cart. I was sitting in the driver's seat. Look at the cart. It's the same exact height. I watched you. And, and ma'am, you came up go to me. I by your mirror. I did because you couldn't me. get by your mirror. Then you got stuck it on it. Over here? Because you got stuck on it, ma'am. I didn't get I didn't get stuck on it. I stopped right here and if yeah. i did anything, and if you would grab the cart it is the exact height of where you got stuck on no, my mirror man it happened last week it happened just now no, i was didn't. i was sitting in my driver's seat this woman entered this bakery and she had an agenda she wanted to push because upon entry she was asked to leave because she wasn't following the store rules she refused to follow those rules and just wanted to give this employee a hard time when she started comparing following the rules to some of the worst things in history let's have a look I don't. I don't wear a mask. I'm sorry. 
like we're not serving people without masks. You're not serving people. That's discrimination. You want to discriminate? It's just the policy. Well, is it a law? Should we call the sheriff and ask him to explain the law? My manager told me that. Well, then let's call law enforcement because this is a problem. This is not a law, and I am under no obligation to wear a mask. So in Germany, when your manager told you to like shove people in the ovens, you would do that, I guess? I'm asking a real question. You have ovens, don't you? Yeah. Okay, well, I will stand here until the law enforcement comes. Because I'd like to make a citizen's arrest of you. This is discrimination. I'm going to stand. This argument took place in this suburban neighborhood because this gentleman wasn't wearing a mask while he was out in public. This Karen came over to confront him and started arguing with him and things heated up quickly when she got in his face. Several neighbors overheard the conversation and came out as well and that's where this huge argument unfolded with everybody and the tables turned quickly onto this Karen when they all realized that she had been drinking. Let's have a look. Put on a mask! I'm in my what are you doing How yourself? dare you! Okay, no, this is you pieces! How dare you! You need to stop! No! You need I to leave call him alone. The cops. You call the cops. Call the cops. 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 You're ruining call the this. Cops. What are you doing, Karen? Call the cops. I am going to call the cops. Crazy. You just swore at him. That's attempted assault. That's a crime. No. No. You could have kept driving. You could have kept driving. You could have kept driving. He called me a racist. 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 He Okay, so this customer is trying to shop for groceries and at the moment this store can only accept purchases that are deemed essential, which this employee does not believe this gentleman's items are. This gentleman argues back and forth claiming that his items are essential as they are quite literally tools to cook his food but this employee denies him service that's when this customer ends up just taking the items and leaving the store let's have a look why uh, we're only selling just essential things this is essential no. i cook with this and this is to preserve food i know but it's not essential Here, so, it's so not cooking essential. food is not essential the these items are not essential so that's what so cooking food is not essential the items right down there, no, they're not essential. Okay, so. $250, $150. So there's five. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I can't do six, it. Six, seven. I am sorry. There's a tip for you. I can't, you I can't do it. Really? So you expect me to give it back then? Yes. Well, expect I'm something sorry. else. I, I, there's payment on the counter. I, Have a good day. Okay, so this gentleman had returned to a fast food restaurant because apparently the employee was hitting on his partner. He was anything but happy about this when he confronted her for it, stating that he's actually taken and she won't be hitting on his partner any longer. The lady apologized profusely, explaining that she wasn't, which the gentleman didn't believe. Let's have a look. Uh, how you doing? Uh, my boyfriend was here earlier. He said that you wrote your phone number or his receipt, and I'm just here to check you and say, like, Control you or whatever's going on. I know he fine. His name Antoine. You work with her? Let me explain something to you. Yeah. I don't care about you nor Antoine. When you walk in here, say good morning like we said to you. Oh, okay. Good morning. Yeah. I don't care about no Antoine. I don't care none of that. You want I said good morning. No, I'm asking. You want to order food? Yeah, I am. Can all I right. finish with that all? I no, want to I check don't her. Hear about none of that. You're not checking making nothing here. Danita. I'm checking all. Ah. I'm checking lists and everything. Danita's Christmas. And you have. Uh ah. -uh. Yes, baby. Right back at you. You want some chicken? Oh my God! All of y'all coming? Yeah. Welcome to our store. You ain't about to come in and check make nothing about. Oh my God! I thought I was in the suburbs. I thought I this. This. No this Karen was actually walking around the streets abusing random people and just harassing them for no reason. She was then confronted by a gentleman who wasn't going to take her abuse and he could instantly tell that she had had way too much to drink and called her out for this. This actually embarrassed her so much that she was sent into a total meltdown where she tried to get confrontational and aggressive with the recordee. Let's have a look. I'm not asking anything. It's six feet apart. He's the one that went off. Yeah, you're so, totally drunk. Uh, no. Wait, 
You're pretty drunk, drunk my dog. I know. Because you know you're going to end up on the internet. I know. You know you're going to end up as a Karen. You're, you're pretty drunk, my dog. It's six feet apart. Guys, guys, guys. Please turn your phone off. You're pretty ignorant. Stop. You're pretty ignorant, my guy. Over some cupcakes? You're pretty ignorant. He's the one that went at me. Over some cupcakes? Good job. Calm down. Okay, so this Karen was inside of this convenience store and she was being very difficult towards this employee. This Karen became very belligerent and also started abusing this employee before asking this gentleman what country he's from when he was quite literally from America just like this Karen. This employee doesn't take this lightly though and actually calls this Karen out before putting her in her place. Let's have a look. Yes. Okay, so it's you heard me. You asked, I asked you what country you're from. That says exactly what it says. What did you say? It doesn't say that. Did you say what country I'm from? Yeah. I said that you can't understand that English written right up there. Miss, I have lived in America just like you did. Now get out my store. Boo. Get out my store. I'll just be Problem. Oh, yeah? Boo. It's a dollar twenty cents. Boo. You're white trash. White trash. White trash. This person found himself in an argument with a group of friends, but the conversation didn't go so smoothly. He was trying to get some information from this person about his friend, only for his friend to continuously clown on him and make a fool out of the gentleman confronting the friends. He then walked over to try to get face to face with the other gentleman, which didn't go so well, and left incredibly frustrated when he didn't get any answers. Let's have a look. Where's your burrito at? I actually would probably like you if you could stop. Your mom. I actually would like you if you could stop. My name is Joe. What's up, Joe? Joe Mama. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up with your student? Is he all right? He's not gonna help you. He don't need help. He's not gonna help you. Help. He's not gonna help you. You have no food. You go into Chipotle. I don't want Did you get the manager's number? I don't want. Bro, you I don't the manager's number. They're enjoying dinner. Go do your own thing. They do their get own. Get out of here. Hey. Get out of here. You're a grown man. He's a grown man. Go do your own thing. You're a grown man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thank you. you. Yes, sir. Have you heard of D's? Enjoy your own Have a nice night, brother. D's nuts. Enjoy your own I am. Have a nice night, D's nuts. I'm not at Chipotle. I'm on the street. <laughs> He's not at Chipotle. He's on the street. D's this person found himself in an argument with a group of friends, but the conversation didn't go so smoothly. He was trying to get some information from this person about his friend, only for his friend to continuously clown on him and make a fool out of the gentleman confronting the friends. He then walked over to try to get face to face with the other gentleman, which didn't go so well, and left incredibly frustrated when he didn't get any answers. Let's have a look. Where's your burrito at? I actually would probably like you if you could stop. Your mom. I actually would like you if you could stop. My name is Joe. What's up, Joe? Joe Mama. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with your student? Is he all right? He's not gonna help you. You don't need help. He's not gonna help you. Help. He's not gonna help you. You have no food. You go into Chipotle. I don't want food. Did you get the manager's number? I don't want. Bro, you know the manager's number. What's going on? They're enjoying dinner. Go do your own thing. They do their own. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're a grown man. He's a grown man. Go do your own thing. You're a grown man. Thank you. Thank you. Go do your own thing. Yes, sir. Have you heard of D's? Enjoy your own Have a nice night, brother. D's nuts. Enjoy your own I am. Have a nice night, brother. D's nuts. I'm not at Chipotle. I'm on the street. <laughs> He's not at Chipotle. He's on the street. D's nuts. Okay, so this Karen found herself in an argument with a group of people having lunch at this IHOP. This Karen helped herself and sat down next to them and refused to move out of the way, preventing this group of people from leaving the table. Things escalated quickly when a random bystander had to come over and call this Karen out for her behavior. Let's have a look. Just so you know, I came back in to give her the rest of the cash from my wallet. Okay, I did you guys 
Ma'am, please walk away. Please. No, 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 no. Ma'am, can you please leave? Because? Can you just please leave? We're, 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 we're leaving. Can you excuse? I'm trying to get out. You need to find another place to be. Can you please leave? No, because you're making a you're you're making a problem, ma'am. You no. need to leave us. You need to leave us, ma'am. You need to leave us. Thank you, sir. Can you please you leave? To, is there a cop or somebody around here? There's a cop here. They need to they need to get her out of here. You need to call the cops because they're this is not. Oh. This male Karen was walking around the supermarket abusing random people when a bystander intervened. The bystander suggested that he shouldn't talk to people he doesn't know, let alone abuse them, and that was enough to send this male Karen into a total meltdown when he got confrontational with the recordee. This male Karen became extremely aggressive when he got confrontational with the recordee and started hurling all sorts of abuse towards him. Let's have a look. How's that? How's that? How's that? Coming you breathe. Me, okay? Why you don't tell me, me what to do. How's that, pal? I didn't tell you what you to do. You did. You said don't talk to people who you don't know. I'll talk to whoever you want to know. Never mind. How's that, pal? Never mind. I did tell him not to talk to That's you. right. So use your head if you know how. Understood. Okay, you little pimply little Hey, you guys. Uh, if you guys could not do this in the store. That sounds please. good to me. Okay, so then leave. I'm uh, checking out, sir. Yeah, Check out. Ring out. If you guys, if you could take okay. six You're not feet. that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Yeah. Are you? Absolutely. You're going to get arrested for this? Arrested for doing what? Just like a pimple on the left. Somebody says something and you don't like hey, it. Sir. And you don't like it, right? Is that what it is? If you you little pimp. Yelling, can you hold you the camera while I check I'll leave the store. I'm okay? listening to Where you bleed, pal. Right where you breathe. Go <laughs> for for and suck right here. Have a good day, sir. This gentleman was at the airport and he was trying to get his skateboard into the carry-on luggage, which wasn't going to happen when the Karen tried to charge this gentleman $90 to transport the skateboard when the skateboard was worth less. This is what happened next. What is it? $90? $89. $89. $89 because it doesn't because it doesn't fit in here. Okay. Here we go. This should do the trick. This angry Karen was actually at a Dunkin Donuts demanding service after she was denied it. She was asked to leave the premise but this sent her into a total meltdown because she was going to get served one way or another. She tried everything from hurling abuse towards the employees to actually walking into the back of the Dunkin Donuts to confront and harass the employees who had asked her to leave. Let's have a look. Don't swear. I don't need to do anything. I was just asking. I don't need to do anything. What do I need to do? I don't need to do anything. What are you going to do to me? Exactly. 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 You really serve me. I will be somebody in here serving me. These neighbors got into a heated argument between each other when the husband came out looking for a confrontation. The husband was incredibly angry and tried to get in his face, all because this gentleman was calling his neighbor by his first name. This male Karen then threw out all sorts of threats towards his neighbor, such as gutting him like a fish, before trying to get into his face and take things even further. Let's have a look. Then get in the house. Exactly, this ain't your street though. You don't know in the street. You don't know in the street, lady. Do it, it's your yard. Yeah, it's your yard. That's fine. Go on, David. Get out of here, David. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Go calm down, David. Hope you have a good night. Go chill out, David. Don't you tell me. Chill out, David. You're a Chill out, David. Shut the Chill out, David. Tell me. Better chill out, David. Like, like a fish, I'll gut you like a fish. Come on, David. You'll gut me like a, is that a threat? Shut up. 
Okay, so this lady had came back to her vehicle to see that it was doored by the vehicle next to her. She decided to confront the lady who was driving the other car, who completely denies dooring her car, even though it was obviously her. That's where the situation escalated quickly because she was not very happy and wanted the insurance information from this other lady who refused to give it to her. Let's have a look. Yeah, you guys dented my vehicle. Right here and there. Yeah, I do because this car wasn't even here when I got here. No, because yeah. I parked here first and this car wasn't here. Well you can call the cops right now, it doesn't matter, but that was I don't awesome. think we need to call the cops. Oh, no, why not? You guys, are you guys are like grown adults. You don't need to be yelling at us like that. Get back to that boat. Get back to your boat. What boat? What boat? Well, smart enough, you idiot. You know what? Our door doesn't even reach your heart. You should wind your door. I'm not going to be a bystander. Well, yeah. Get in. You should off and go suck. Make sure that everyone's okay. Oh, you idiot. Are you guys okay? Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.